Once again, how are we doing, everybody? Rick is playing uh, a scrub bulk against scrub uh, Ed. Oh, I see. It looks like that didn't pay off for Vex. Don't worry. Continuing to do random things that I do. Oh, I can try that one backwards? That's no. Amani knows Vinx will bow down to his plant overlords when Ivysaur and Piranha Plant rises. Yo, look. I do not believe in the wrath of any plant-related objects. And I watched the, the little pet shop of horrors. So, you think I would know, but nope. I don't believe in the rise of the plants. And Osti was saying, uh, Vinx with 12 wins and everyone else with zero. Get bodied. The character that Vex is playing has the same voice as Ruby Heart from Marvel 2. Oh, interesting. That's awesome. I didn't play Ruby Heart much in Marvel 2, but I thought she was cool. I'm actually watching a little bit of Smash now. I didn't realize like how like getting knocked back looks so much different. Yeah, yeah. They tried to uh, make it so that you there's uh, less downtime in the game. Because it used to be in Smash 4, like you would hit somebody and it would kind of travel, you know, a distance. Yeah, they've always done that. Yeah, they've always done that. But yeah, now with Ultimate, they sped it up, so it's like almost instant. Which I think is a much better way to just speed up the game. Ow. Like, it'll look a little janky here and there, but I think it's well worth it as far as like just gameplay goes. Have I heard Ivysaur's voice yet? No, I haven't heard Ivysaur's voice like clearly in Ultimate yet. Cause, like, I've been watching a lot of like choppy videos. People will be like, oh yeah, I got to play the game. Here's footage on my cell phone. I can't hold it steady because I I don't know how. Nobody ever taught me. No, it's all it's shaky camera, like the Blair Witch. You have to like shake it around and like make it as blurry as possible. Oh, I got it. Yeah, no, that's how you make it go viral. You gotta shake the camera. Exactly. Like if, if it's like real nice footage, people think you just recorded it with a capture card and it's not like authentic. Yeah, you're right. Um, Ivysaur went to the army and came back as a 60-year-old with 20 years of battle experience. <laughs> Deepest voice. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Now, the new momentum looks really good, but the smoke is way too dense. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, for me... matters that much. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely one of the kind of players that doesn't really care about visuals all too much. Like, a game could literally be made of nothing but squares and triangles. As long as it like functions well and is fun to play, I'll enjoy it. But yeah, no nah, man. So like obviously Smash Ultimate in comparison to Triangles and Squares looks pretty good. But the last rivals of Aiden. Say what? Nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. Shaky Cam makes it authentic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know those were the rules. Wait, what is all combo? Yo, I'm pretty yeah, crap combo. Yo, rest in peace. Combo's OP. Uh, Monty says the launch sound doesn't bother me a bit. Reminds me of a balloon getting punched really hard. <laughs> no, but all the games are made of squares and triangles. Yes, yes, very true. But some games are literally squares and triangles. Some like games are rectangles, and other games are circles. That is also true. Because there's, uh, what, the Impossible game, and Geometry Wars, and a few other games of that ilk. And Hexagon Wars. Yo, did I There's remember to buy Geometry Wars? Of hexagons. In like, everywhere land. Oh, man. Geometry Wars was like on sale for like a dollar, and I didn't buy it. That made I didn't mistakes. Know it was on sale for a dollar, I, I would have bought it. Yeah. I, I wanted like to get it. Yo, Catrolius, we've been over this, man. Catrolius, when you use your V trigger. And they're blocking it. What you want to do is dash forward. That's the secret. I think the secret's not going to hit. Never mind. I have no idea what the heck nope, this is. Uh, Shandi says, YouTube link with Ivysaur's voice from replay. Not a recording if you're interested. Well, um, I'm not going to remember to look at that later. And I'm not going to look at it right now because uh, I don't want to play Smash content on my Twitch channel. You know... Things, uh, things have been bleak. Things have been real bleak. I mean, obviously it's official, but still, I'm not gonna play that on there. It's crazy the number of people that have just outright lost their channels covering, uh, Smash stuff. I mean, some of it's obviously, like, warranted. Some people are legit, like, recording footage of, like, the leaked game or whatever. And, like, that's illegal. So, to lose your channels over that, you know, it is what it is. Tough cookies. 
But yeah, some people are like le legitimately just covering stuff that's already out there. They're just, you know, putting these uh, footage clips together. And I don't know what like the algorithm is so that they can detect if it's like leaked game or if it's just footage that Nintendo's yeah, already put on YouTube. But yeah, no, man, stuff is tough. I don't know. I feel like it's uh, pretty obvious that it's very sensitive right now and that people shouldn't be doing it. Period. It, yes, it is very sensitive right now. 100% agree. He considered Bayonetta to survive. Uh, no thanks. Round one. That's a troll. That is... That's the total trolling. Wait. What? Uh, Sakurai talked about how Kirby was picked to survive outside, outside of the bias. Consider two other people to potentially survive, Palatina and Bayonetta. I mean, Bayonetta makes a lot of sense because, you know, she's got, like, witch time and bats within and all that. But yeah, no, the fact that, you know, the lasers came and she bats within into the other laser made so many people happy, so I'm glad they did that. And yeah, Palatina, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool to watch the lasers, like, break through all those, like, counters and reflects. I thought it was really interesting. And it made Link stand out that much more, because his shield could actually block the lasers. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, nah, starting mean, like, the game with the easy shield? character makes sense. What would you call an easy character? Uh, Kirby, definitely. Kirby, um, Jigglypuff, DDD, Meta Knight. Oh, my head. Pretty much any character that has yeah, multiple jumps where you can recover without having to press up B, because that's very hard for kids to do, to recover with up B. I mean, like, obviously as adults that, you know, can be like, oh, up and then press the B button. You know, that's easy peasy, but for little kids that, like, don't read and have time, a uh, hard time just pressing two buttons at the same time, yeah, nah, you want one of those Kirby characters. Shande says, I mean, anyone that's dumb enough to play the ROM pirated version online, on stream, honestly deserves to have systems bricks and channels lost. Yeah, no, I agree. I do. Uh, I um, there... Systems break, Apparently there are systems that have been getting bricked. But, like, if they're, like, showing it off... They're basically stealing software. Like, okay, I understand. That breaks, terms of, that breaks your terms of service for the Switch. Like, I absolutely believe, like, if that's what they want to do, they have every right. I don't know. It's hardware, though. I mean, it's unfortunate for them, but, like, don't break terms of contract? It, yeah, it, it's really simple, because it's like you always feel like you have all this ownership over, like, all the things you buy. But, like, if you look at, like, any games, like, terms of service, like, any platform that you're on, be it Switch, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, like, you pretty much have no rights in anything. Like, we're used to these rights because we use these things all the time. But yeah, no, if you do anything they're unhappy with, they can take everything away. And you see these things all the time. You find everything. Like, literally everything, man. Like, imagine you launched a game on Steam, right? And then you did something that violated uh, Steam's uh, service. They can take your game off of the service. And not someone that bought the game, someone that made the game. Okay, but I'm talking about the console. Yeah, even the console, like, again, terms of service. If you break their rules and conditions, they can do whatever they want. They can, you cannot be happy with it, but it's all there. Like, you're not gonna win the court case against them. Oh. Ow. Well, I'm not, I wouldn't argue that the court case, but I think that it's... Like, obviously, if you're firing something illegally, there's a chance that it bricks, but... I wouldn't want anybody's constant brick, I guess. I mean, I would want for people to not, like, sneak and get the game early and not put themselves in those dangerous situations like don't do things that are illegal i think it's that simple if something's obviously illegal don't do it <laughs> i think that should be so simple man because i get it like people don't feel like it's illegal because it's like oh i'm just downloading something off of the internet but that is illegal <laughs> it is like, obviously, you know, like we, like a lot of us have grown up in an era where, you know, just purchase or downloading illegal music is just something that, like, everybody does. Yeah, well, I was always afraid of, like, FBI coming after me for my, like, in sync CDs. <laughs> and yeah, because, like, back in the day, you know, people would, they would just burn CDs and give them to each other and stuff like that. 
And like, you wouldn't steal a car, so don't steal a song and all of that. But yeah, it is illegal, and if they decide they actually want to pursue it, they can. And like, they, like, um, the more and more we move forward, you know, with capitalism, consumerism, and all that, like, legitimately, they have to make examples of people, otherwise they are just gonna lose a lot of money. Like, I'm not saying it's a good thing, necessarily, I don't exactly agree with those practices, I just know what they are, and I accept them for what they are. That's just Yo, kind of it. my mentality. It is the same if thing with, like, option. fighting games. If I had the option to download a car, I would, just to say I downloaded the car. Like, <laughs> I know, right? I mean, in the future, that could definitely be a possibility. They're like, you would have downloaded a car, I'm like, you don't know I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, what's the other one? Like, you would download this, like, yes, yes I would. Gladly. <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely a thing that was going on. People downloading, um, guns? And that, yeah, there's a lot of uh, laws and stuff that are, uh, you know, in the works now, because they're like, how do we handle this? Wait, what? Because, um, there's 3D printers. With 3D printers, oh. you can download builds to, uh, print a gun. And so they're like, okay, oh. what do we do now, guys? And you can also 3D printers are pretty crazy. Oh. 3D printers is where it's going. Yes, absolutely. The only thing that you can't 3D print is the trigger, the firing mechanism, and like, that's cheap to get. It's like $20 and like, you don't need a permit or anything to buy one. Like, you just order it off Amazon. Oh my yeah. god. Paragraphs. That was not what I was looking for. I wanted back heavy punch. Oh, for that giant flip. Come on, Vex, you can get, do a comeback. I, I tried to show you that. I knew you were throwing a punch, I was like, I'm gonna share you and get my idea. All right, Amani has an article. Okay, I'm gonna read everything Amani said. This is an article about Bay and Palatine for anyone interested. We need a solid convincing reason for why said character could outrun Galen. All fighters possessing normal abilities were immediately disqualified given that its assault enveloped the end of the galaxy. Only a vehicle that could defy the laws of physics would work even short distance, teleportation wouldn't be enough. Some of you may have forgotten, Kirby's Warp Star has been able to, you know, warp since his very first game. That alone made him a pretty solid contender that only other two other fighters would have survived being Bayonetta and Palatina. That said, Bayonetta's enemies from whatever that is returned into spirits, so it wouldn't have made sense for her to escape. Other divine beings like Hades were also turned into spirits, so there's no way Palatina could have. Ha! Ah, fair enough. They put a lot of thought into that. Why was he turned into a spirit though? That's what I don't get. Yeah, me, man. Because they want to make Hades a spirit. I think that was just an ex- That- The Palatina one just sounded like an excuse. I can understand why Bayos wouldn't though. I don't know. Like, over all the years with all the things that Sakurai has said, man, like, I just don't really take any of it as like, I don't know the Bible anymore or whatever. Like, he just says things. Like, he does all the time. And he's like, these are my reasonings. This is why I feel this way. And, like, that changes I mean, all the time. I, I get that because there's too many characters. You know, can't really theorize without some, uh, you know. I mean, let's be very honest. He yeah. chose Kirby because Kirby's his uh, precious child and loves him. <laughs> I know, no, right? I cannot get my inputs. That was like too sure you because I tried to input there and nothing came out. I don't know. That's because you didn't have super. But they. I if you had know. super, Sakurai you would have got it off. Ow, 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 ow. Did Sakurai even work on Kirby Star Allies? Um, I don't know. I don't I think, think so. Because you love Kirby that much. I don't know. Uh, directors. No. He had nothing to do with it, according to Wiki. I bet he randomly programmed something into it. Like, type 3 like I mean, program. like, I'm definitely gonna have to go with favoritism. Because it's, like, really easy to come up with excuses for any character to, like, survive, right? Like, just give Mario an invincibility star. Bam. <laughs> He's good. He's invincible. Sonic <laughs> has run so fast in the past that he broke reality and reset the universe, so I'm pretty sure he could have outrun that. So yeah, Sonic could have outrun it. He definitely could have had Sonic if he wanted to. Um, like the Pokemon trainer, like mate. No, I, I guess they wouldn't want to split the Pokemon trainer up. So yeah, well, I guess he had to go. Wasn't the whole point of Sonic was because he was helping out Pikachu or something? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what that one was.
Or at least that's, that's how, how we've all like interpreted it. it. Um, who else could have been good? Oh, Ness! Ness can teleport around the world. Ness can literally teleport around the world. Ness has to run first. Yes, he does have to run first, but they were all just kind of sitting there looking, so I feel like he had a chance. Also, like, again, Link was blocking some of those lasers. He could have blocked some of those lasers to give Ness the time he needed to do the teleport. I wonder if Sakurai even remembers all that much about Ness. <laughs> I mean, Sakurai knows a surprising deep amount about a lot of characters. I'm sure there's things he doesn't know, but I wouldn't outright try to, like, guess him on one character or another, because it's like, there's a good chance he would know. No, I was just saying, if, it, if it's not somebody he's worked on, I, I wonder how, like, shallow, like, I don't consider his knowledge shallow, but I wouldn't expect him to know small, like, the, all the small details. He knows a crazy number of details for a lot of the characters like i would not challenge sakurai in a money match in like nintendo trivia i would not oh, do no. that i would never do that never that's definitely not something i would do i don't know trivia for anything <laughs> fair enough i'm sure he knows tons more so. than i do i barely know anything about this except that he's from uh he's got some friends and he <laughs> has tel telepathy powers that's it <laughs> yeah. Oh, stunned dead. Yeah, no, it's crazy the amount of detail that they do put into the games. And, like, that's where he's learning it all from, right? Because, you know, he's working with them. Yeah, yeah, working on Smash is how he's learning about most of the characters. And it's crazy some of the details they put in, man. Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but some of the details they put into the games is, like, obscene. And, like, just the knowledge he's dropped in interviews is just, like, very surprising. It's like, wow, you know about this? Ow. You gotta one, two, three me. I mean, I want to before. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, buttons are so hard, man. There we go. Is that a combo? Uh, yes, medium punch combos and a medium kick. I can special after, but it's too hard. Ow! Kicking me in the face. Nah, I kicked you in the gut. I don't appreciate that. Oh, goody, my switch isn't charging again. Why does this switch have these problems? Can't you just work? Buttons are hard. Here, somebody teach me how to push buttons. <laughs> Why does I hit that low? Nope, it's not charging. Um, is, she, on. Hmm? is she like a kicking Balrog? No. Definitely not. She has punches, I'm just not using them. I appreciate that. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to drop out for sleep. Y'all have fun. All right. Sounds good, man. Thanks for uh, joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for letting me get bodied. It was fun. Yep. He's up. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What were we saying? Um, like lasers that covered the universe. <laughs> um, any character who couldn't escape the universe was raised simple. Only characters who could were Kirby, Palatina, and Bayonetta. And uh, Mane shouldn't be discredited because he likes both Bayonetta and Palatina. Okay, so they have to literally leave the planet? Is that what it is? I guess I misread that. Misunderstood. I guess if you phase out into time space, you'd be able to do it, right? I would assume so. They have to leave the planet. I mean, Mario I mean, could. It's like, at the end of the universe, though. Yeah, like, think of it. Okay, literally any character could have survived. Link blocks the lasers. Luma turns into a warp star, and then whatever character we wanted to save uses the warp star. Bam. That's how you do it. They easily could have done that, and it would have been really cool, because it's like, bam, look at all these characters working together to, like, give us a chance to save the universe. They could have done that if they wanted to. I would have just rather preferred, you know, Kirby to just be the one. 
I'm good with that. I think that I, I am satisfactorialized with the ending to that trailer. I mean, I don't dislike the trailer. I'm not trying to say anything like that. I'm just saying, I do think it was favoritism with the Kirby. Which, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think Kirby was the best choice they could have done, honestly. Because he's such a good character for, like, people that, um, are new to Smash Brothers. And since that's the story mode, that's just such a good choice, IMO. What did, what did, uh, the sub space start with? Mm, you weren't supposed to be over there. They started with Pit, right? Yeah. Pit also has a fly. I'm super sad that my I got V-Trigger instead of Shoryuken. When you were near stun and I was near stun. Yup. Black, <laughs> what was that crap nonsense? Crap? Did, you, did you watch it? I did. It's exactly what it looks like. It's also gonna be on the Switch. On the Switch? On the Switch. Fix up a game I want you to stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to know anything about it before you stream it, though. No, I don't want to stream a game I know nothing about. <laughs> I've, I have learned some... no. Banks already saw the, the uh, something I put. I know what happens when you stream things you don't know about. It's just bad times. I might be one of those reasons why. Yeah, no, man. People have sent me things like, You can't know anything about it! Just play this! It'll be fine! Ha! And then it's like, oh wow, this is a terrible experience, and I wish I never did this. I made a, I made a vow to never do that again. Well, anyway, he's already he's already seen it, Control, yes. Oh. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to uh, stream Fight Crab, by the way, Banks. Fight Crab? Gotta fight, be a crab. Yep. I wanna be a crab, that sounds <laughs> like good so times. Good, dude. It's so stupid and funny. This is gonna be the seventh time I've watched this in one day. <laughs> You're silly. I... I have nothing. I'm actually gonna go to bed now, but... That was the thing I watched. Thank you, bud. Sure. You're welcome. Well. There you go. Have a good night, Controlius. <laughs> yeah, good night, man. You win. Shani says, I still say if he was playing favorites, it would be a Kid Icarus character. Nah, like, Kirby if there's... Cause, like, the first... Yeah, that... Kirby is his baby, dude. Like, the first character Sakurai ever worked on was Kirby. That's how he got his job. He had Kirby. Good yeah, choice. man. Good choice. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> you gonna be alright there, Glackham? Everything is trying to distract me from doing my radio right now. Gotcha. I think the music's helping too. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Nope, not the one other thing I wanted. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I could never get away from you. Oh, that was not close enough. Oh, and I packed up all my... All my consoles! <laughs> all my consoles! No gaming, except my PC. I got nothing. Mm. Actually, I think I left this right now. I thought you were gonna grab me. I went for the tech. Nope, just jabs. Jab a jabs. Jab a doll. Fair enough. I actually think that packing up all my consoles is a good thing. Gives me less of a reason to turn them on. Mm hmm why are you packing up? He's moving. Oh. I'm not moving to New York, okay? Wait. Oh, it's like we just talked about how you weren't moving to New York. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just moving like 15 minutes out. But it's downsizing and I'm. Amani says, um, ever realize that a freelancer makes one of the biggest fighting franchises in history? Because you know, Sakurai is technically a Nintendo freelancer. No, oh, is he? How well, does that work? Yeah, because I know he used to work at HAL, but I don't think he does that anymore. And, yo, Killjoy, saying hello. Yo, how you doing? You're not trying to join us and play some Street Fighter, are you? 
Cause I'm down to play everybody. Right now it's just me and Vex. As oh, you're doing well? Yo, good to hear it. Yeah, we're just talking about mostly uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, which we're very excited for. Has his own company. That's why. Oh, does Sakurai have his own company? Yes. Interesting. Pipe for Smash as well? Nice. I think it's Sora Limited. Gotcha. Yeah, that sounds about right. Huh, you push the button. I for sure you can. Also, uh, by the way, it's not Smash Ultimate. It's Smush. Uh, just Ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be calling it Ultimate myself. I actually didn't realize that. Wait. Man, you're a fast little ninja. Oh, that connected. Oh no. Stop where I did start. I'm getting salty with my controller right now. Oh, that didn't connect. Yo, literally every time you grab me that game was a Shoryuken. What the garbage. I don't know, that just sounds like every day to me. I'm just wondering where all the supers are. Nothing coming is, out. <laughs> is Vex just doing worse because he just scared of cyclopses it could no. be maybe his inner cyclops fear has finally arisen i'm not scared of cyclopses i i oppress cyclopses wait it's smitch what is smitch. What? what what is smitch why, why would, would you call it smitch i don't see the wordplay oh because it's on the switch okay excuse me i see i see what we're doing would it, <laughs> would it flash be better than smitch yeah. wait what which smash? Swash. That's dumb. You're dumb. All of these are dumb. Yeah, no, man. You know what's dumb? Um, crab battles? In, in Christmas. Mm-hmm. Look, I would use a Christmas Abigail skin if there was one. Are you there telling be... me there is no Christmas Brown Abigail one. skin? No, I we've been, we've been wearing, over this. He'd be wearing... Christmas tree lights on the side. I could be a whole tree. Christmas tree. I would love to be that. But they decided that that was not my life to live. Abigail gets no skins. Ibuki has like 15 yeah, million skins. The most red and it makes me one. very upset, I assure you. Alright, I'm Googling Abigail skins now. I'll, I'll find you the most Christmassy one. <laughs> there isn't one! I mean, there has to be one that's green and red. He could be- I, I could be those elf. colors. I can change to those colors, but there's no dedicated Christmas costume. Yo, Killjoy is saying, uh, swimsuit Abigail. <laughs> yes, there should be a swimsuit Abigail. There's a swimsuit Ibuki. Why isn't there a swimsuit Abigail? We're both top tier. I deserve the same things that she gets. That'd be a really weird uh, idea, thanks. Why? What do you have against Swimsuit Abigail? Problem. I don't like sexualizing characters. What? <laughs> but it's okay when Ibuki does it? Do I have the Ibuki Swimsuit? I don't know. I do not. I assume you do. I Interesting. Do not. Either way, it doesn't have to be sexualized. Also, I'm just now realizing Vex over here is not wearing Christmas colors. No, he is not. I'm actually wearing green. I'm pretty sure I mean, he has a Christmas costume. The boogie doesn't have a Christmas costume. Sure she does. The Japanese gee thingy. Does that thing have snowflakes on it? No, that's just the Street Fighter 30th anniversary outfit. Oh. Well, it looks perfect for it. I mean, you just gotta pick the one that's most Christmas. Exactly. I mean, I'm on, I don't pick up Sakura because she's dressed like a reindeer. Yo, arm floaties point. instead of tires, there's big goggles with the snorkel, costume code gives him the inner tube with the duck. <laughs> that sounds perfect. I need this in my life. Yo, someone contact Capcom. Killjoy knows what I need. He understands. Ooh. 
Hmm, I didn't push any buttons. Man, don't you just hate it when you don't push any buttons? I do hate it when I push no buttons. It is not the best. What? Where was my super? Where was my <laughs> super? I must have whiffed a move. I Yeah, I must have whiffed a move, man, because I wanted my super. So salty. There's a whole 10,000 people between Vex and Vex. Whoops. Someone was blocking. Well, I did like 80 damage. That's worth so the whole super bar. You from being beyond the powers of gold? What, what is what is it gonna take to see my home dog, Thanks, from from Mega Man fame beyond gold? Oh, you want me to be platinum? Okay, that yeah, platinum. There you go. Uh, all I gotta do is play ranks. I can't do that if I'm playing uh, friendlies. Do you want to play ranked? Like, I'll let you go play ranked. No, I don't want to play ranked. I want to get my revenge on this stupid ninja. But haven't you beaten him up like three times? Yeah, no, so. Twice. Let's do this. Look, I need my revenge, okay? This uh -huh. is important. Okay. And after I get my revenge, I need to, like, assert my dominance. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Easy peasy. And let's see, no, it's Superb Master Alliance of Supreme High Tier Plant Overlords. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. I have as little of an understanding of what you just said as you do. Um, it's the initials for Smash. And then he just put in Plant Overlords because he likes Ivysaur uh, and uh, Piranha Plant. I mean, Piranha Plant does look pretty good. Cool. Revenge is a dish Yo, Yo, look at that. Tell me that's not Christmassy. Okay, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. The fact that she's wearing a dress... Okay, and that looks fine. No, not that part. The part where it looks green and red. It's your choice to look at the legs. It's not no, I'm just saying, like, it would not be proper winter wear. She'd be cold. Oh, definitely not. She does look like when, she might be cold. When did Christmas ever... Christmas... Nice-looking Christmas clothes ever that were green and red ever really warm you up? Ever. It tell you it didn't warm me. Wearing what felt like felt instead of real real fabric. What was that back heavy punch? Um, I was expecting you to I, jump I, and not block. Your your brain might not. Notice I it, but your body, look at her stretching her body up like here hit me. <laughs> I want to give you the biggest hitbox possible. Here you go, big guy. I wonder how Goofy's hair stands up after the little thing and it's always so straight but the other parts are straight and uh, Got me. Ah. Hmm, buttons are hard. Thanks for jumping. Hair in video games is always an interesting looking <laughs> Yes, hair in video games is pretty weird. But apparently the concept of cold only exists in the weak mind. I didn't know that. No! Interesting. No. Is that how you feel, Banks? No, I did not want Um, that. I just accepted whatever they said. Do you believe that the concept of cold exists only in a weak mind? Um, they said so, so it must be true. Thanks. What? Did you know Santa really does exist? I looked it up on my... On the watch on the internet. It says that they're gonna be... Eventually preparing the presents. Yo! Fantastic! Bell time. They've been waiting for years. I thought that guy wasn't real. Well, speaking of presents, Amazon just shipped my order of my net landed after, my two Ethernet cables, and my splitter. Oh, nice! Oh, you know what? 
I should get. I should get GameCube Pony Cables. Yo, do it. Killjoy is saying, I'm so Joe expensive. Cold Resistant Tough Guy, who is tough because I don't get cold, which is why I wear shorts when it's 20 degrees out because oh, I don't boy. get cold. Yo. I thought you wore shorts because they're comfy and easy to wear. Yo, that's, that's why you should wear shorts. My light punch is way too slow. Huh. Oh, I jumped. Oh, yep. Interesting. I'm gonna be productive. And by productive, I mean I'm actually gonna. That was one sweep too many. Level done. All right, good luck, Lackham. <laughs> Who thinks day one smash patch is gonna patch some character things? Apparently, it was like already data mined, and it's not gonna change any character things. But if they were wrong about that, and it was nothing but lies. That would be cool. It'd be very interesting if they did that. But I assume they'd want to get more data before they do anything like that. Otherwise, clearly they have like something in mind. I wonder if they'll just do a launch patch just because people were doing uh, stuff beforehand. It's like they are doing a launch patch to fix um, Game & Watch. But outside of that, I don't know. What's wrong with Game & Watch? Um, he has like an offensive thing on him. So they're like, okay, that's offensive. Let's get rid of that. Oh, yeah, I know. What do you mean an offensive thing? Um, there's a depiction of, in, like, the depiction of Indians burning stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's the, um, it's based off of a really old game that came out, like, way back in the day. Like, obviously they're like, ah, oh, you know, ah, those crazy savages attacking us American sports. That's, oh man, so silly, let's make this a child game. <laughs> but, you know, that's a little bit offensive in 2018. You can't just be calling people names and whatnot. That's not standard standing heavy punch. Oh, good jump forward. Good grab. You're far away for the next one. <laughs> no, just all the jumps. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are one thing. <laughs> Day one patch is going to brick systems and get rid of his Indian side smash? Yeah, something like that. And uh, Killjoy, like, if you couldn't smash the eye Bayo, she just carried you off the top. Yeah, they took that out, so that's going to be interesting. But, like, any mechanical changes aren't necessarily going to, like, this is the new Smash, this is the new game, this is how it's gonna be. Cause Smash 4 was the same way on 3DS when it first came out. It, it didn't have DI at all, not Smash DI, but DI? There was no DI, there was vectoring. Which was very interesting, cause you could actually like survive better from attacks that would send you uh, directly up. And you can't do that with DI. But yeah, they did patch that out and they changed the, uh, you know, defensive system of the game. It was very interesting. Like, why would they do that? <laughs> Yo, I thought I was too far away to be grabbed, but I was incorrect. I got them gorilla arms. Mm hmm. The gorilla fate is turning. You know, you gotta turn that wheel of fate. It's very important you do that. Um, nope. Bay significantly nerfed. Her up air won't kill at 170, 180. Oh, dang, that's crazy. So you can DI direction and down air dodge? Gotcha. Yeah, just directional air dodges is gonna help out a lot for a lot of characters in a lot of situations, like for being real.
That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I can't punish that? <laughs> hmm, apparently your V-Skill is just a safe thing. That is news to me. Yeah, I thought you had to space it, because it's a move you use for spacing, so I assumed that it was I negative. Mean, I'm only spacing so I don't get smacked by your limb. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. I didn't know that was plus on block. I don't know if it's plus, but it's like, it's good. Yeah. I mean, that's true, because it's like, my limbs aren't the fastest in the world. They aren't? No. <laughs> no, they are not. Uh, Killjoy says, by the way, if you can get a crouching light kick, you can cancel on the trigger activation. Yeah, I do that sometimes, but it's like... It really depends, because when I'm going for the crouching light kick, it's not like I'll necessarily know that I'm going to land the attack. Like, if, say, Ibuki does the light punch, medium punch, heavy punch uh, thing on block, and I punish that with crouching light kick, I expect to land that, and then I'll V-trigger there. Um, sometimes I don't V-trigger there, um, even when I hit her, because I'm reading chat and not paying attention. But, I do know about it, but generally I prefer to just, like, crouching heavy kick. It's just the way of the Abigail. It's like, it's like required by law. You're not an Abigail main if you don't just only crouching heavy kick into V-Trigger. It's the rule. Sounds like a rule for babies. Baby Abigails? So they can grow up to be big boy Abigails. I like that thinking. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, oh, I don't have V-Trigger, that's you. Now do. Oh, I'm never fast enough. Ah, oh, buttons. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. You blinked. Yeah, no, man. I landed the V skill, but I didn't get the follow up. Oh, Bayo is in a uh, high tier? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, supposedly, she's still really good. What? Did I land it? No. You can combo that, but I have to do it faster. The fact that you can dash and then grab me just infuriates me. Um, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, I heard Cloud was heavily nerfed as well. Yes. I heard his moves are weaker, so he has to rely more on smash attacks for kills. Yup. That is true. A lot of cool. characters you're excited to play. Yo, Link, Snake, and Sinroar, Simon, Ganon, King K. Roll. Yeah, those all look like good characters to me. Personally, the character that I'm like looking uh, towards the most is uh Oh man. And I can't punish that. I hate that dash. That dash, man. Oh, it infuriates me. It really does. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Incineroar King K. Roll the most. Excited for him. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. The things I do to you, I learned after playing Oski, only work on you because of Abigail's big body. Yes. Like, throwing you and then immediately doing a medium punch, a, a crouching medium punch, is not a medium on other characters. It doesn't reach, but Abigail's so big it reaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, man. People don't so think about it. They're just like, ah, Abigail's so big, he deals so much damage. So broken. And it's like, uh, I'm really big and I can be hit by things that no other character can be hit by. I also can't uh, do the thing that you hate, which is dash and grab you. Yeah. I cannot do that to other characters. I can only do that. Oh, that that's now. that's it. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought you could yeah, do I that to that everybody. Yeah, like every time it didn't work, I was nowhere near close enough to grab him. Like you gotcha. didn't have to Well, that makes me feel better. I didn't realize that was me specific.
Gosh darn it, I've been trying to tick that throw for five years. <laughs> I gotta stop ticking throws, man. I gotta just let the throws hit me. It's so not worth it to try to attack them. Like, unless I, like, really, absolutely, definitely know that's what's happening. Stupid dash. You let me out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shawnee says, I can personally confirm K. Roll and Ganon are fun. Yeah, that's good. And Inkling's super fun. Yeah, Inkling, I'm told, has like a bunch of like really good stuff. I'm scared of Inkling. I'm more scared of uh, Isabel, though. Isabel scares me the most. Inkling's dash looks dumb. Yeah, yeah, Inkling's dash looks super dumb. Like, because it's just. There's no hitbox. There's no hitbox. She's so low to the ground. Why would you do that? Like, it's bad enough that, like, Rosalina and Mewtwo, like, turn invisible on their air dodges, but it's like, at least in Smash 4, you could kind of predict where they were going to be, versus, like, now in Smash Ultimate, like, they literally are teleporting with the different directions of air dodges. It has a lot of lag, so maybe it won't be as bad as I think it is, but I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. The real one I'm excited for is Toon, uh, not Toon Link, uh, Young Link. Yeah. Young Link I is love, cool. I love Young Link. Round one. I'll Young try out Young Link and Toon Link. I used the main Toon Link in Brawl, so like, if one of them plays how like Toon Link did in Brawl, I'll play them. But if neither of them play like that, I'll probably not be interested. I'm uh, I'm interested in Dark Samus probably. But yeah, Dark Samus looks pretty cool. I was thinking about her for a while, but I mean, I might try out Dark Samus. Like, I'll try out every character, but. Dark Samus isn't what, like, screams in my mind that, oh, I gotta play this character, you know? I know. I know. Don't worry, thanks. Uh-huh. Oh, nice! That is really hard to get. <laughs> that was well done, though. Can I make that? Whee! No, I did not want the overhead a mile away for no reason. <laughs> it's an interesting option. Yep. Got Sorry, that guys. one. Oh, you blocked it. Yep. Didn't get the second one, or the first one. Oh, you finally learned. Yeah, you can't do that all day, man. I mean, I did it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Final round. Fight. I mean, it's like out of the two of us, usually you're the one that'll mix things up, even if it's already working. So I was expecting that, but you never did. So I was like, all right, <laughs> I got to show Vex a hand. That was a good tech. Thank you. Oh, I was kept, I kept waiting for the flip to hit me, never did. Ah, oh, you were just outside of range. <laughs> is that your shuriken? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I just see all these, like, dots in the air. She's summoning it from afar. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Monty says, I know I probably mentioned my list before, but it is as follows. Plant, Ivysaur, Pichu, Snake, Bayo, Bowser, Palatina, Plant, Pichu. I'll dabble with everyone new too. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna dabble in like every single character, like all 70 plus of them. But uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm the same. I'm gonna play as many people as I can play. But yeah, I, I don't plan on like legit using them. 
But I could always be surprised. It's happened in fighting games before where like I thought I would main a certain character and then I like messed around and then found someone else that I ended up really liking. So we'll see. Oh, you had that. Oh no, I forgot that's a death pit. No, I didn't mean to press that button. No. Uh, Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'm super interested in Pikachu, Sonic, and uh, Young Link, and I'm also super interested in um, Pit. Because I used to secondary Pit in Smash Bros. Yeah, supposedly Pit's really good in this game. Supposedly, I'm like... Potential. And like Ike. I love Ike. Ike's good people. Wario. I don't know how Wario's... I, I haven't really been paying attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Wario look okay. Uh, I've seen nobody saying anything about Wario, but we'll see. Harsh. Didn't use anything. Nope. Yeah, there's no newcomers I'm interested in, honestly. Like, in terms of like, oh, I gotta play this character. What? Uh, I guess you aren't interested in... My boy from Donkey Kong and my boy from Metroid, huh? Are you not inter Do you not like play Metroid games? Uh, I like Metroid, but like, I'm not a huge like fan of the like characters. You're not a huge fan of Ridley. I he's just always looked like a dumb brute to me. I never saw him. As <laughs> oh, oh. Ow, right. Yo, Ashande with the tier one sub, subscribed ten months in a row. Mega Man Battle Network Two is clacking on the VG list. <laughs> Let me help it out. Oh, it's lacking? Yeah, no, man. It's slowly but surely trying to get up there. I appreciate the support. Every time someone gives me their votes, I put it to Mega Man Battle Network 2. It's a game I really want to play. Love me some Mega Jet Man. Jet Set Radio have the same amount as Ikaruga. Yo, Jet Set Radio is a cool game. I've seen someone speed on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How was that? It's a lot of, uh, I don't know, really. It just, it doesn't look like it, it's very glitchy, so. Gotcha. But I mean, I don't know, I, I think there's, like, probably, like, going over some cutscenes. But I don't, I don't really know how it works, because I've never seen the actual game done normally. Yeah, I gotcha. But it seems like, aside from doing the, the spraying, fast there's not much in the way of uh, glitches gotcha too far away man, there's Banks. so many votes in this now it's crazy. yeah there's a lot of games man people want to see stuff no i didn't get that <laughs> oh i see you have your view trigger wait which one did he put it up to was it was it at 93 before? What should it be now? Uh, it hasn't changed yet. It will later. I'm allowed to change it. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, I forgot I set you up there. All right, yeah. If you want to update it, add five to it, that would be cool. Done. Battle Network two. Yeah. Okay. But my fist was out there. <laughs> yeah, no, I was cool with it. It's a good fist. It's up, right? There we go. Oh, what did I do? How do I switch cells? I have to move the cell out. I don't know, you just kind of- Oh, you're trying to move it? Yeah, because now it's got one more vote than Majora's Mask or two, whatever. Got you. Um... I guess I could cut- Yeah, you can drag the whole line if you just, like, shift-click it. <clears throat> shift, okay. No, I keep making it small. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing, Bucko. I got it. It's okay. I believe okay. in you. I didn't take an entire class on on Google Docs for nothing. <laughs> I'm glad it's finally paying off. 
Well, not Google, uh, Excel. But it's basically the same, right? Mm-hmm. So, so Vinx, just to, just to clarify. Uh-oh. So first, Wait, first hold on. Amani says, colors weave into Spire of Flames. was supposed to be your revenge. I don't and think then the second me. one after that was supposed to be asserting your dominance. Uh-huh. What happened to all those things? I don't know. How many have I won? You've won two, I've won three. Uh-oh, we gotta fix that. <laughs> Get that out of here. Do you hear Little Mac is sick? Yo, is he lame or sick? Which one is it? Um, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> Apparently. But yeah, no, man, I'll, I'll try out Little Mac. Like, cause it's like, a lot of people that have opinions about Little Mac aren't Little Mac players. And so I don't trust their opinions at all. And then there's people that do know Little Mac, but have like no real on hands time with the game. And so they're saying things that are turning out to be false. But yeah, no, nah, man. I'll wait till the game comes out. I will play it myself. We shall see. My opinion on Little Mac. He's a guy. He is a guy. This is true. And he, uh, he deserves to get the World Cup. He deserves all the good things and none of the bad things. IMO. Oof. Vex. That was... Oh, you That's wanna play fun. Killjoy? What's your, um... What's your ID for, uh, the Street Fighters? Your fighting ID. What is that range? What is that range you just had up? It's Abigail range. You grab you you hit me like a mile away. You don't know what Abigail range is? <laughs> Interesting. Oh my goodness. Gosh darn ninja girls need to get off my back. Don't you hate it when ninja girls are on your back? I really do. Personally. You need to leave me alone. Ah, the jump forward. Um, it's a uh, killjoy with the lines. The lines are L's? Okay. Final round. You gotta stop doing that. No you don't. I like the free damage. Hmm. Remember that picture you sent earlier? <laughs> yeah? There was a picture? I think you sent something. I don't About remember. The, uh, the Street Fighter meme earlier? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember it. I remember it very well. Are you gonna unlock everybody? Yeah, I gotta do that. Yeah, um, personally... I don't know. Like, I'll have the game in my hands and then I'll find out. Sounds like a good way to find out. It was like, I was saying earlier that I planned on playing like the whole world of light. And then after that, I was saying that, you know, I'd be playing with a friend. I haven't really decided. I'll figure out what I want at some point. But what we do know is, is that Banks is definitely gonna play Fight Crab. <laughs> I don't know about any of that. We'll see though. Anything's possible. Gotta just believe. Just believe. Oh yeah, don't jump. Jumping again. Yeah, yes, I you. jumped. I watched you jump, and every time you jump, you lose a billion well, bajillion two. HP. <laughs> I do lose a bajillion HP when I jump. It's a bad habit of mine. I'm trying to break it, but I'm not quite there yet. I remember when you used to jump. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. You used to jump a lot. Jumping's are fun! You, are you allowed to jump, like, with other characters, or is it just... With no. No? Yeah, jumping's just a no-no. Against, uh, Ibuki. Okay, against Ibuki. Is it okay with other characters? 
I uh, it depends, it's very situational. Well, as long as it's not completely pointless. But I mean it's a good Thanks! Win! Win! I got it. You were losing it. <laughs> I mean you have a lot of pressure options. I don't have a lot of choices. I just had to wait it out. What he's saying is, is that he had enough time to tank your health. Vex. Vex. in the first song? Thanks should be in the first, right? Like, how does that work? Do you just randomly switch sides of the health bar and stuff? Yo, how did you get all of those hits? Hold on, I'm thinking about the buttons I need to press. There we go. Alright, what were you saying? I noticed Vex is on the left side now. What's up with that? Whoever just, wins takes you... the side. Okay. Fair enough. But you have to, I'm pretty sure you have to win the full set. I just won the set, so now I'm going to be on the left side. Wahaha. <laughs> Got him good there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Killjoy saying Abigail having all the HPs. Oh yeah, I need to invite Killjoy. Let me do that real quick. L L Killjoy. L L. Yeah, get Killjoy in here. Abigail has more than a bajillion HP. Yep, and now you can jump against any character, but jumping is always a read, or it's done off some kind of setup. Never just throw out of a jump. Yeah, I don't know, man. People can do all sorts of things. As long as you have the read, then you're doing the right thing. But if you you press the buttons and then they hit you for it, well, then you guessed wrong. I love her hair and how it doesn't make any sense at all. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, most traditional fighters, especially Street Fighter V, are basically rock, pa rock, paper, scissors. And, you know, anything works as long as, like, you're not playing scissors in a rock. Scissors doesn't beat Rock. Don't use scissors when they're using Rock. That's a bad idea. I definitely love to use Rock. Because Rock, honestly, if you ask me, Rock should be able to beat Paper too. <laughs> yeah. I don't quite understand it. I think That's Rock fair. should be like the, the double the double leader here. It would spice up the, the gameplay more. Yeah, you're right. Then Make things more interesting. Rock or rock. Mm -hmm. Then, if you had a pro, if you were like, "Oh, rock wins everything," maybe mm, too early. I should use scissors, and then maybe he'll use paper because he can stick in the same way. But then you still use rock. <laughs> yep, yep. Here, rock to your heart's content. Three Fighter Five is a super ground-based game. Says Killjoy, jumping in on someone is just trying to circumvent neutral. Jumping means I don't want to play the neutral, I want to take the risk that I might get anti-air so I can get around playing neutral. Yes. But like, jumping is part of playing neutral itself. Like, if say someone uses a projectile at a certain range, or say they're trying to use a long reaching normal to zone with, and you're at the distance where you can jump in like I did right there to get past that zoning move and punish them, that is part of the neutral experience. Ow. Meow cheese. Exactly. Fevers. I don't know why I ever think I'm fast enough to like hit you out of these things you do, because I'm just not. Stay away! <laughs> You're scary. Ah, <laughs> I was hoping you would wait more time in between the kunai since you were getting low, but you didn't. You didn't go to pull any either. Feels bad, man. Bible cry. Exactly. Oh, I didn't get the anti-air. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's just blocking. Ah, too far away.
Ah, I thought you. Not, I beat you into doing not something. a single button, man. It's block central over here. You gotta realize, from my point of view, I feel like I can't ever push any buttons. So I wasn't really pushing. Trying, not, you would go for a uh, tech grab or a uh, armor move. Nah, you jumped in on me. I blocked that. I have to keep blocking. That's the rule. Cause it's like, it's just such a bad odd to try to push a button there. Like yeah, maybe I'll hit you in the middle of something, but usually not. Bad trades. Why did I try to sweep Abigail flip? <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting option. Minus six on block on super? Yeah, no, nah, you can punish him for days. Characters have like unique punishes they can do on Abigail. After blocking his super, they can't do on uh, other people. Very interesting. It's not nice. Is what it is though. Oh, <laughs> oh hello! <laughs> I didn't know you'd be here today. Gosh darn it, can I push buttons please? Oh, that didn't combo, it was supposed to. What did I do wrong? My EX Giant Flip didn't connect into my Crouching Heavy Punch. Just dashed out of there, you didn't want nothing. Why won't Shuri's come out when I farm them? Because you're not any good at Shuri. <laughs> when will you realize this? Sometimes you need to take the crash course like 50, 55 times. Mm-hmm. This is true. Ah, uh, good jump in. Button? No. Nope. Yep. Oh, what? That's a grab. That was a grab animation, friends. I did a push grab animation. Well, she was doing it. Maybe Ibuki has a mind of her own. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm still alive. Gosh darn it. I'm so mm. slow. I thought I could get there in time. I really did. No, I did not want to jump. I'll take that. Is Rage still present in Ultimate? Yes it is. <gasps> You're kidding me. No, it's still there. I heard it's a bit- no one likes it. Is that true? Yeah, you can turn it off. Oh! Well, that's nice. Uh, then I guess what's the so problem hard. that people have with it? Um, they don't like it. It's what it is. Is it turn offable in Smash 4? No. Oh. That's a new thing. Well, then I guess there's no problem. Yeah. Cool. I love it when there's no problem. Gosh darn it, I jumped. Man, that does so much damage! I was like, maybe, maybe I'll just survive with just a sliver! Just a sliver, I can do this! No, no, you're dead. You are dead. I try so hard, man. Big boy Abigail. Not enough HP, though. Doesn't I don't know cool. why I jumped. All I had to do was just sit there and just keep blocking. If I, I could, like mess up a couple times and survive, but jumping was just all free raw damage for you. It's a really bad habit and I gotta stop doing it. Jumping? Yeah. Yep, sounds about right. I like jump. to jump. I mean, you can jump like in on me. Like, I have to commit a lot harder to like my options. Also, his V trigger is the big deal, because it's like, if he doesn't have V trigger, I don't honestly mind jumping in on the Buki. It's not the end of the world. She does have anti-air options, so they're just not what Vex personally looks for, though. So it doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, nah, if I jump in on that V trigger, I'm just asking to throw away half of my life bar. And that's a bad idea. You generally don't throw away your whole life bar. Yes. Generally a bad idea. Why do I always throw you out of the corner? <laughs> it's such a bad habit. Because I'm always blocking and I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. <laughs> Would you stop grabbing me? No. That's rude. 
hate it when people do rude things. Very unfortunate when they do the rude things. Oh, that's my foot! <laughs> that's my foot! <laughs> yeah, that's also the hard part of playing against Ibuki when she has V Trigger, because it's like she can take half your health bar if you push any buttons. <laughs> I like pushing buttons. Yeah, there's it's not that she's guaranteed to do it, she still has to go for it. Why some things are easier to punish than others, like jumping. Jumping's very easy to punish, that's why I keep scolding myself over it. I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to play a game with so many rules. <laughs> They're not technically rules, just a good idea. I don't know, Vanks. I don't know. What I don't know is why, if I if I win the air trade, I can't do anything but get hit when you land. Because you fall down too slow, you're too floaty. It's so annoying. So yeah, if you win the air trade, you have to block. Ah, uh, I was trying to bait you to jump too, but you still did it when I wasn't predicting. Man, you're getting so good at blocking that. Ow! Oh, what? How was I from that end of you? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Gosh darn. Jab in the grab. So annoying. You lose. Yeah, what I need to do is I need to play more patiently against the Buki. Like that's the secret. It's like I love that secret. Sounds you already play smart. super patient though. It's annoying. I mean, I do play patiently against you, but I don't play patiently enough. If I play uh, patiently not. enough, like that's how that's Abigail beats Ibuki. That. That's way higher than platinum. Oh hey, diamond. Uh oh. I'm bodied. Uh oh. Yeah. Here nah. comes the body. I get bodied by gold Zangief, let alone diamond. Uh, Abigail doesn't jump high, so he generally is closer to the ground, so he normally lands first. Yeah, that's also true. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, Ibuki. I've been wild so floaty. But hey, man, this is good. Oh, he's gonna use Alex. Is he bringing out the big guns or the small guns? Um, if Zangief's his main, then these are the smaller guns. But look at those guns. I can't look at those guns are covered up. He's still diamond though, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Alright, yeah, he's using his plus options, man. He's pretty plus. Ooh, there's the jumping though. He didn't see it coming. Another jump in. Yeah, he's trying to protect himself with his limbs, gets beat out in the air, doesn't see the overhead coming. Distracting me again. Alright, there's the V trigger, because yeah, he was in plus, but yeah, no. Vexatious just jumped right out of that pressure. Like, no thanks. Yo. Try again next time. Nice job with the V skill. Outspacing him with it. Uh oh, but now Vex is in the corner. He uses the EX because he's scared, but it's all good. Alright, uses the V skill. Alex is playing Ooh, real slow. Up. Gets the hit in when he can, but he did put himself in the corner. Vex is gonna run away though. He's scared of the pressure. Gets the dash in. Alex didn't see it coming. Here's some shenanigans. Ooh, texts it, but doesn't get the block on the jump in. So yeah, I would say the jump ins are definitely giving Vexatious the advantage right now. Based on Killjoy's rank, I would say that's mostly because he plays at a much higher level. So he's used to playing against a certain like type of meta. You know, those rules we were talking about? He's used to those rules. Yeah, right now he's sitting real pretty. Vex is uh, less than half health right now. Just a couple of good reads. Did big boy damage. Vexatious does have like all the resources though. Yo, the mix up. Interesting. Yeah, he's got V trigger. He's got three bars. Could do super or just do some EXs. All right, yo, the tick throw. Tries to jump in, but nah, Killjoy. Anti airs it with a, what is that? Crouching medium punch? All right, we're gonna pull out some kunais, do some spacing with that. Alright, trying to use the jump-ins, but it looks like Killjoy is blocking and anti-airing them a bit better than what he was doing in the first round. Alright, he's in plus. 
Yeah, Vex just backed away, but then he kind of dashed into that one. I, I tried to go under him. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This is all, right. all my tiles. Both players pretty much have full bars. Ooh, uses the EX. Doesn't quite get the clean hit on that. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, he's wise enough to those dashes too. Throwing out those light punches, because they're not just safe. Can't just throw out those dashes for free. Yo, good crush counter. Yeah, good zoning from Bex. Oh, nice. Good punish. Yeah, I don't exactly know if that's plus or minus that weird dash slash attack of his. I assume it's minus. But, I mean, it moves full screen and has a strong hitbox, so I assume it's negative. Oh, well. <laughs> Bex kind of walked himself into the corner, but then gets the jump in. Really good damage. Ooh, armor on wake up. Keeping himself safe from that pressure. Pushes Vex back into the corner. Vex uses a kunai into that to keep himself safe. Gets a hit. Killjoy has no HP. But yo, uses the armor to keep himself safe. Gets the crush counter. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, Vex no, could just super for win. I kept trying to super! Yo, yeah, nah. Like, I, I said it as it was happening. I was like, he has full super. He can get chips. Because I know that's something you look for. As oh, soon as I saw the baby sure you can come out, I was like, yep, as usual, Vex is bad at pressing the buttons. <laughs> what you should have done, Vex, is you you should have tried to EX sure you can and you would have got the super out. <laughs> I'm not even joking, like, let's be real. That's how that always happens. Did he just anti-air him with- oh, that's right, because Vex doesn't always push a button on his jump in, so that's why that was able to work. That isn't an anti-air option. <laughs> but yeah, if you push no buttons, man, you can check those empty landings. Alright, yo. Ambiguous cross-up. Yo, good pressure with the knee. Empty jump into the throw. Gets the stun. And gets big girl damage off of that. Good oh stuff, god, Bex. anything but big girl damage. Yeah, big girl damage. Or kill boy. Not that baby girl damage. Alright, yo, good spacing. Ooh, yeah, he tried to tech a throw, but yeah, no, Vex is real tricky, man. He swaps between his options a lot, and if you're trying to tech throws, you're gonna get opened up, and it's gonna hurt real bad. So Gotta look out for that. So, is the reason why Vex is still in Ultra because he's bad at Shuriukens? No, I get salty and play Rage, uh, laggy matches. Yes. I'm usually plat. I haven't seen him plat in a long time. <laughs> All right, good uh, air trade. Doesn't quite get any control on the landing though. Yo, Vex is gonna jump out of that. He's like, no, nah, that's scary. Yo, gets that uh, you know, jump and attack again. Ooh, yeah, did not finish that combo. Wow, command throw on the empty jump. Checks him for uh, not blocking there. Oh, but yeah, no, nah, he whips that. Rabuki recovers first. Takes the game. Not Yo, this is actually really close. Is Diamond the one after Platinum? Yeah, so it would be Plat, Super Plat, Ultra Plat, Diamond. Got you, got you, okay. Cause yeah, it's not like it's just Platinum, like there's multiple tiers to uh, the ranks. Cause yeah, I'm not, I'm not Ultra Gold, I'm only Super Gold. I don't think I've ever been Ultra Gold. Super Gold's the highest I've been so far. I feel like I have a lot of learning I have to do before I can get Ultra Gold. Uh, Yo, really good zoning right there. That was nice. Yeah, nah, his block strings are very real. But, yep, there's the jump in. Here we go. Yo, he didn't try to take a grab that time. But yeah, Vex's spacing was a little bit further to the right. EX! Says, I know you're gonna push a button here. Yo, gets the grab, gets the double grab, and yeah, gonna try to do the VX, and yup, nah, no grabs here. This is a no grab zone. Yeah, he tried to do the command throw on Vex. That was full, fully punishable. I guess he thought Vex was gonna try to block, you know, to wait for the Kunai to come back for some sort of mix up. Vex did not wait for that. Alright, catches him in the air. Ooh, got the counter hit on that too, but didn't go for the combo. I guess he didn't expect it to hit. Yeah, they both have full meter. 
pad. <laughs> Vex tried to get a safe jump in, but didn't get it. Dash is in. Alex was not quite ready for that. Ooh, really good block strings. Ah, tries to keep his pressure on, but Vex just EXs out. It showed that hand before, but I guess uh, Killjoy wasn't expecting it. Ooh, gets the jump. That's dead. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I know that life. <laughs> that was a good game, dude. A jump? Getting punished? By Ibuki? <laughs> Yo, it's tough, man. Definitely shouldn't have put Alex against the Ibuki. Yo, man. You still, that was still like a really close set. It was still a really close set. And you know, you being Diamond and all, I'm definitely not going to be upset about you taking it easy on us. I'm completely cool with that. Ibuki can uh, really abuse him in neutral? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, out of the two of you, I would still say, I think, um, overall, like, just looking at when, like, damage was happening in the pokes, like, I would say that your Alex had the better, uh, zoning there. Your, uh, like, your block strings were really, really nice. And I feel like part of that's just matchup experience. I don't think, uh, Vex has played against a lot of Alexes. But yeah, when you're playing on the ground, you're winning more. But he would do, like, some crazy slides and stuff. And those would catch you off guard. And yeah, a lot of jump-ins. The jump-ins definitely were helping out Vex a lot. Probably played against Alex. I, he's definitely played against the Alex or two for sure. What Vex. do you think, uh, Vex? What's your like uh, Alex experience? Yeah. Uh, if we were to give like a percentage, like 100% would be like comfortable with the matchup, and zero is obviously I'd say it's like 50 or 60. Like I know Alex. Like oh, I, you do know Alex. <laughs> oh, yo, King Hippo so It's just not one of those. It's just not one of those characters that I played a lot of because not a lot of people. Hippo is weak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's definitely okay. a rarer character. I For forgot sure. King Hippo was definitely up at night because he totally killed you in Link to the Past. <laughs> yup. I did not want to do that. I've never seen a King Hippo at night except yesterday. Mm-hmm. He really wanted you dead. <laughs> he really did. And I did die. Oh, you definitely died. King Hippo pressed the thanks die please button. He <laughs> sure <stuck>. did. <laughs> yep, that's that. Um, he has because he knows that Alex can't really deal with uh, cross ups. Gotcha. You. Like to me, that just looked like normal Vex. And uh, Alex doesn't have a good tool to deal with cross ups anymore, aside from the light knee smash. And standing light punch used to be the go to, but they nerfed that. Yeah, because they didn't want the like light punches and light kicks doing that. I thought it was silly. Which is understandable. Uh. Oh, yeah, that is. That uh, is a poor I'm sorry for yawning so much. It's all good, man. If you gotta, you know, if you're tired, man, get that sleep. I wanna at least get the intro level done. Before. Standing light punch hits high? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, well, those characters like Ibuki that were- or not Ibuki, uh, Chun-Li that were, like, really abusing that back in the day, and they're like, nah, no more of that. Gosh darn it, I keep getting forward heavy punch when I'm just trying to standing heavy punch. It's so annoying. I'm gonna start turning off my mic when I'm- and mm -hmm. turning it on when I want to talk, because I'm yawning. Yeah, yeah, do what you gotta do, man. You yeah, know, Alex, Alex is, uh, I believe, like, I'm not super hardcore into, like, all the competitive stuff. Like, um, cause, like, I do want to get good at this game, but, like, I haven't been going to tournaments or anything like that. But yeah, last I checked, I believe Alex was low tier. So it's not like I'm saying, man, Alex is so good. He better not have that anti-air light punch. Alex is one of the worst characters in the game, and I don't mean that like, oh, Alex is, but like, he's definitely one of the weaker members. Yeah. Yeah, it took away Geeps as well. Yeah, because it's like, that's just kind of how it was. Like, it wasn't like they were individually nerfing those characters. They were just nerfing everyone. They're like, no, if you want an anti-air, you gotta commit for it. And just those universal changes hurt them really bad. Man. You gotta do all that? Go away. 
I thought about it, but I was like, nah, you won't go for it. Those are so hard to tech, man. I think I keep pressing them too early, because like I know you're gonna just tap me and then do the grab, but I never get the uh, tech on it. So I don't know if I'm too early or too late, but I just don't get it, man. Oh man, you really didn't want that. <laughs> no, I wanted you to do exactly what you did. <laughs> exactly. Do you mind? Oh, you finally checked the one I wanted. I didn't get the combo I wanted there. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Gosh darn it, you wouldn't jump there. <laughs> I was like, if he just jabs one more time, I can grab him out of the jab. But I didn't get it. Yo, Burkuya Bangs is in here saying hit or miss. <laughs> yeah, that that's uh that happens. There's a lot of hit or missing. Super Saiyan Charizard, tell me why the Domino's delivery guy and just standing in the parking lot, looking up at the sky like he is possessed. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? What was going on here with the Domino's guy? He's got pizza to deliver, man. It's a job. I'll let Dawson keep his three-frame light punch anti-air? Yo, rip. But like, if I show you Geef standing light punch, you'll understand why it's a bad idea to take away the anti-air potential? Yeah, no, man. Yo, see in your, see in your diamond rank. You know, I, I can see that you definitely uh, know this game way better than I do. I'm not trying to, like, you know, debate you on anything. I'm just talking about things that I've heard. As opposed to Alex, who's like a 50-60, like, God, G is definitely like a 40% understand. Like, I am... He's still very fresh. Yo, everybody was playing G when he first came out, but man, did he fall off. Yeah, people stopped playing him, so like... Which I don't understand, because, like, he has so many good tools. Like, because he can pressure really well into his command throw, and he gets juggles off of that, like... It seems really good to me. I mean, he's definitely a complicated character. That's fair. You know, Super Saiyan saying, I don't know, he was just standing there. I've been staring at him with my binoculars for a while. I thought he was trying to break into a car, but nope, just standing there. Maybe Fair they enough. don't like the fact that he looks like Abraham Lincoln with a leprechaun on him. Aw, but he's so cool. I know, but... Whoops. Through time, so fly. And yo, Akali's saying, hey, thanks, hope you're having a great day. Yo, I am. Yo, are you getting ready for uh, Smash Ultimate? It's a little bit off, but we're almost there. Oh, I can just go up. Yo, man, it's so tough. This is like, there's so many instances where Vex grabs, and instead he does that, like, uh, jumping move. It's like he gets the full combo off of that. It's tough times. Vex, it's like, you're is trying to Buki take. a baby cheater character? What do you mean, baby cheater character? Do you mean top tier? Because, yeah, she's top tier, but so is Abigail. We're both, like, two what of the best characters. What is top tier in this game? I don't know how many characters there are. Um, Five. Vex. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few characters. Like, people will, like, change their stance. Like, some people will say Abigail's not top tier. They'll say he's just high tier. I would argue he's top tier. Um, Ibuki's definitely top tier. Akuma's top tier. Kami's top tier. Guile's top tier. Um, there's a few other characters that are really good, but, like, those are the main ones. Yo, he's going maximum president. Well, that's a low. Yeah, it is. That is a low. Is this guy the president in the video game, actually? He's uh, the self-proclaimed world president. No one voted for him, but he says he's the president. Oh. People think he's crazy. I, I can tell. 
<laughs> He's pretty cool though, man. He just oozes presidential vibe. Yo, know, actually saying, heck yeah I am, the way to kill it here. Yo, I'm so excited. Yo, know, the character I want to try out is uh, Incineroar. I think Incineroar looks really cool. What about you? Well, he's a fighter, and Venks likes uh, Little Max, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> yup. And he likes Pokemon. I do like Pokemon. But I'm surprised that he wants to play a fire deck. I mean, I'm not in love with Incineroar. It's not my favorite Pokemon or anything. Because like, he's a water guy. If you've never seen Venks play Pokemon, he is a fan of the water persuasion. Yes, that is absolutely correct. But... I also, in my fighting games, love Super Armor, and I haven't seen it, but supposedly Incineroar has Super Armor. I know he has a Command Throw. I love Command Throws, so I'm trying mean? to get in there. A Command Throw is um, essentially because you have normal throws, which every character has in fighting games. A Command Throw usually has different properties to it. Either it allows the character to move while being able to grab, um, they might have like Super Armor where they can take a hit and still grab or um getting the grab allows them to set up for some crazy situation which to be so fair what you're telling me is, is that bowser is a command grab. yes bowser does have a command grab okay what what characters have a command grab bowser? um wario has a command grab he does yeah the bite the bite oh. goes through shield like if they're blocking you still bite them that's a command grab i didn't really consider that a grab for some reason but yeah. it makes sense in hindsight yeah, outside of that, uh, I can't really think of anybody. There's not a lot of command grabs in Smash. Oh, uh, Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong has a command grab with his monkey oh, with flip. with the, the monkey thing. Yeah. Yo, you would vote for him, Borakua? Yo, you should! Yeah, the, Diddy, the Diddy thing reminds me of the Jot from Left 4 Dead, too. Gotcha. Yo, Wolf? Yeah, nah, I used to play Wolf and Brawl. Ah, Vex, you uh, didn't win that trade there, buddy. Yeah, I didn't know who would win, so I tried it out. Yeah, that's fair. I want to know if the uh, projectile would disappear if I hit him. Yeah, apparently not. He's too busy being Maximum President. Uh, by the way, like, when I say Maximum President, that's the name of his V-Trigger, which is, like, a stance he goes into that makes all of his moves more powerful. Well, you can only do the most powerful moves when you're the most powerful kind of president. Exactly, the you president. gotta be maximum president. It all adds up. The more president you are, the stronger your are Exactly, and that's why he wants to be the world president. And then applies his maximum president powers. Uh-oh, somebody jumped! I mean, if you can become a world president solely through your fists, I commend you. Mm-hmm. If it's not a bad tanks, way to do it. There's tanks out there. Mm-hmm. Yo, I just- I really like his design. The top hat is just really silly. I like the, like... I think he has, like, just makeup around one of his eyes that kind of looks like a monocle, but I don't think it's actually a monocle. And just, like, that vest he has, and, like, how his arms are all rolled up. Like, that's what- like, if they put Abraham Lincoln in a fighting game, I think he would look this like G. Would look like. Exactly. I mean, without the whole green, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, obviously the colors are off. But outside of the colors, that's exactly what, you know, Abraham Lincoln would look like. I would love to play as Abraham Lincoln. And this is as close as it gets, man. If, if, if Killjoy just changed the, the gold to red, it could be Christmas. This is true. And we gotta get into the holiday spirit. You know, Liberty Prime from Fallout 3? I've actually never played any of the Fallout games. I'm told they're super good, but I haven't played them. I know, uh, Juji plays them. The chances of him playing it are very oh, low. That's so scary. Because he doesn't seem to play long games that aren't RPGs, JRPGs. I mean, I generally try to stray away from, like, long games in general. But yeah, no, man. That's I'd what I mean. They're not, not JRPGs. Yeah. I mean, some JRPGs are pretty short. Like, the Mega Man Battle Network games are real fast. Hildre says, by the way, tell Vexatious he needs to anti-air. Yeah, nah, I've been telling him that for days. He doesn't like to anti-air. A lot of bad positions you're getting put in, in because you don't anti-air? Yes. He doesn't anti-air. But, 
he makes it work. Like, Vex does some, like, really, uh, silly things, but he's very aggressive. He mix-ups really, really well. You're giving him the good points, but he should probably anti-air. <laughs> yes, he should probably anti-air more. This the thing is, is I don't get practice with anti-air because I play mostly banks, and my anti-airs just lose. But Abigail wins at eight. Yeah, he loses when he tries to anti-air me a lot, so he doesn't like to do it. You so I've kind of trained him that. to not. Okay, so what he should anti-air is... at all. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. What you're telling me is, is that Vex only plays Banks, and therefore it's being detrimental to his growth as a... I mean, that's always something that, like, happens when you play against a specific player, like, a bunch of times. You're going to pick up certain habits based off of, like, what you need to do to win that matchup. And that can affect you in the long term, yes. Absolutely. So basically, Vex needs to play more ranked. Not... I mean, yeah, playing ranked is always good. Oh. <laughs> I messed that up, but you managed to not block it, so I'll take it. Alright, I believe in you, Killjoy. Do it, man. Wait, isn't Vex also a vet name? No. Isn't that what you no? No. Why did you say he was a geek me? I never he said was, Vex was a geek Someone said that me. Vex was a geek me. No. <laughs> You're making up stories. Oh my god, I asked if, if at one point, I swear I asked if, if Vex was playing his main. And you said, well, if Geep is his main... I thought you asked if about, uh, Killjoy was playing his main. Oh. Oh, I didn't know. I, I meant that that's... But okay. Now, that also answers the other... It corrected you! Yes, yes it did. Welcome to Street Fighter V. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? So annoyed. You've, you've woken up to a game that'll uh, help you out every now and then. Cause yeah, now where you were if I'd gotten... Oh snap! Ninja Smacks with the 200 bit Saiyan Smashes this week! Yo, Ninja Smacks, thank you so much, dude! And yo, yeah, we were so excited. We've been talking about Smash pretty much all day. All the characters that we're excited for. For me, I'm super excited about Incineroar. That's who I want to play. I think he looks really cool. Smash is this week, but Fight Crab is next year. <laughs> yo, I believe in you, Killjoy. You got this. You got this. Unless I beat Vex, then you have to play me. And like, I jump a lot, so you can anti-air me for free. It's a bad habit of mine. I gotta stop jumping so much. I'll get there one day. One day. Do you mind? One day. I tried to tech when you punched me too. I was just too slow. That was not released properly. <laughs> no, no it wasn't. Still, still gotta get in though. That's all that matters, right? Does not cross up? Does not cross up. Stop trying. I've walked under it before. You know I have. Let him <laughs> Yo, once in a like blue, super blue moon, man. The bluest of all moons. Like, <laughs> let's be real. How many times have you tried to cross under me and it's worked? Enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> oh, but I like jumping. Let me jump. Dude. Oh, I thought you were going to jump. <sighs> My name is Abigail, and I am afraid of jabs. He also likes to use jabs. I do like using jabs myself, this is true. Ow. Oops. I feel like half of what I see Fangs do is always just jab. <laughs> I like to jab, okay? It's pretty fun. It looks funny. It just looks like you're like 
swatting things out of the air. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Abigail. And yeah, nah, if you want to use Alex, that's cool, man. Use whoever you want to use. Maybe he likes to walk. I do like to walk. No. Killjoy's saying that he noticed that Vex will just, like, sometimes Vex will just start walking at you. Yeah, that's fair. He doesn't know what that's about. I'm scared of his V trigger, and he knows it. I tried to EX Jurio, it didn't work. I mostly wanted to use the super just to, like, run the clock. I didn't expect it to actually hit. You threw away the match if you were trying to run the clock if I blocked yes. it. Yes, I was hoping that, like, because, like, uh, the time still yeah, goes dude. in the freeze frame, doesn't it? What? Like, when you're going, like, when you're revving up to use the super and, like, you can't press any buttons because it's freeze framing, doesn't it, uh, the clock still run in that? Yeah, but I had way enough time to punish you for that. I mean, I wasn't sure if it was enough to kill me, though. It wasn't enough to kill you, it was enough to bring your health lower than mine. Oh, yeah? Alright, fair enough. We were like even on health. But well, I made a choice. <laughs> and it worked out. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fighting games. Uh I'm getting distracted. I don't know why I try to EX Rio. I shouldn't block. Uh Vinks, how do you feel about Piranha Plant? Um Piranha Plant was very interesting. I wish they would have put in like probably any other character. Um but you know, it is what it However, is. You Piranha have Plant's to in the game. Rank that is Piranha Plant. Yo, people are, uh, you know, warming up to Piranha Plant. Um, I like, personally... Let's be honest. Piranha hmm? Plant has to be a popular character. Like, <laughs> he's the Piranha Plant that everyone knows from all the Mario games. Mm -hmm. And Petey is all, like, super cool. And I mean, I know he's not Petey. But everyone... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's kind of dissimilar. Yeah, no, nah, don't, don't listen to him, man. Uh... Glacko's being very, very, uh, sarcastic right now. Don't take that one for one. He's being very sarcastic. He does not care for Piranha Plant all that much. I'm not exactly might... in love with Piranha Plant either, but it is what it is. I might try to main him. I might try to, like, have him as, like, a character to just play, but I mean... I'm not gonna do anything strong with him. Yeah, that's fair. Yo, do as you do. I don't know. I think that Piranha Plant is more big as a thing than most characters are popular, period. Oh, that's two hits. Personally. Ah, oh, that beat me out. Rip. Like, there's plenty of art on the interwebs about mm -hmm. giant carnivorous plant, so... It's not, like, off, if you ask me. It's not too off. Whew! I barely won that. I just think PD Piranha would have been like 50 times better. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But yeah, he's in. It is what it is. Uh, his actual moveset looks pretty legit. He looks like he could be a good character. Playstyle, you know, seems solid. I don't see anything oh, no, wrong he there. He looks like a very cool character to play. Definitely does. But Yo, that is an if we're going to start adding in random minor enemies in video games, then the next person I want in is Arialfos from Link. Yeah, nah, I Twilight hear you on Princess. that. I want a flying little lizard guy with a sword. <laughs> oh, that beat out my punch. I thought I would be fast enough, man. It was not the case. Oh, I was expecting him to command throw me. How'd that not anti-air me? His whole arm was inside of me. How did I get through that? Uh, Akali says, I like the potential of plant opening up the chances for other basic opponent characters like Boo. Yo, or if, Metroid. If, or, or, Metroid. or, or, Shy Guy. Metroid. Badnik. 
Okay, I like Shy Guy too. I'd be good with that. Yo, man, I want Shy Guy so bad. I love Shy Guy. I mean, I'm not against the Metroid, but I'm not super excited to be the baby. <laughs> All right, we'll just be the floating mother brain head. How about that? <laughs> that's that's cool. I mean, that's basically looks like a yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Not really. I gotta stop pressing buttons after that because it doesn't work. I would too like shy guy. I don't know what the follow up to that is because I always drop that. Shy guy is now in tennis ace. Pretty happy about that one. Gotta be man. I need to think of other random... Well, at this point, we should just have Dark Knight, right? We should just yes. have Dark Knight. Dex, what are your thoughts? On what? If you could have a random minor enemy from any Nintendo game in your in your Smash, what would you have? From a Nintendo game? Random, random minor enemy. Doesn't matter how stupid they are. Not at all. They could be the most common mook. That's basically what Piranha Plant is. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. What Nintendo games do I have? <laughs> I'm thinking first party Nintendo games. I'm like, I'm probably like also, you random. can't pick any Pokemon. Because they're all not really mooks. <laughs> yeah, rest I think it'd be funny. Do they just oh, have to be on Nintendo? He knew I was going to super! He knew! They have to be first party. First party, that changes things, because this is like, I'd like the Fire Emblem Bandits. First party. That was very painful. <laughs> that was very painful. First what we really party. need is that bird from Ninja Gaiden at Guarded Platforms. <laughs> oh, no. no! Don't do that, ninjas. Anything but that. Oh, the that sounds awesome. Yo, they'd be so OP. Yo, get platform camp for days. <laughs> oh my god, the birds. Ninja Gaiden is... Oh no. I'm not even gonna talk about Ninja Gaiden. That's a fun... That was fun. Oh, I almost had this done. I was Dex, so close. tell me when you come up with an answer. Don't give up on me now. I just... I don't know many, like, first party, uh... <laughs> I don't know how to punish that. There we go. I feel like if I let you just pick Sonic, it'd be too easy. So, uh, you know. That's exactly why I said not Sonic. Yo, I would say Squirtle, but we already have Madden. Squirtle. No Pokemon. Those aren't mooks. We need Pokemon. More I mean, Pokemon. I'd like a, a Deku Scrub then, I guess. GG's? Yeah, GG's, man. Sure. Deku Scrub. You'd be a better Piranha Plant. I mean, like, honestly, we got like 70 plus characters. Oh, no, oh. No, Cuckoo. oh, I forgot. I should say oh. who I think the five DLC oh, characters are going to be. That's perfect. Cuckoo Swarm, specifically. It's a multi-character. Oh, wait, okay, wait, true. what did Vex just say? He said cuckoo. that he wanted a Cuckoo Swarm. A Cuckoo Swarm? <laughs> a multi-character Cuckoo Swarm. That would be interesting. That would be We do need a new Zelda character. But yeah, no, I was thinking, like, for the five DLC characters, I think we'll get like, um, oh, isn't that item already? Yeah, it is. But yeah, no, we need, we need, um. DLC. Now it's your turn, Vex, thanks. If oh. you had any first per party, no Pokemon Mook to throw into the mix that you don't, that just, who cares, anything. Anything. Side Shy Guy, Side Shy Guy, because we already picked Shy Guy. <laughs> but that is the answer. <laughs> you already picked Shy Guy. We yep. all want that, so that doesn't count. Doesn't count. Got it. Uh, I'm I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, what are good Nintendo games? Uh, there's Earthbound. Yeah, the Flying Man's already like on this stage. I don't really want him that bad. I just thought of him. Um. Oh, that's not my B trigger. What do I want? Ah, uh, there's like, no, not Fire Emblem. <sighs> I love Pokemon, nah. Um, <laughs> they're not mooks. Yes. Any of them could be it. Anybody Any can be it, got it. Um, this is so hard, because I already know Shy Guy's the correct answer. 
<laughs> That's the whole point. I wanted you to think. I'm also, struggling. Did you want me to struggle? Oh That's man, man, Kremlings would be stupid. Um, there's a good amount of Kirby characters, but Banks isn't into Kirby, so he doesn't have any idea. Yeah. Yo, a Dark Nut. I want to be a Dark Nut from Zelda. I, okay. I said Dark Nut earlier, so. I oh, you did? I didn't hear yeah. you. Gosh darn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. He's just gonna pick Iron Knuckle now. <laughs> no. That's silly. The best <laughs> Waddle Dew? No, I don't want a Waddle Dew. Or a Waddle Dee. Waddle Dew. The line goes up. The line goes down. Gosh darn it. Who do I choose? Um, I thought I was so smart with that Dark Nut answer too. Yeah, I already um, Dark Nut. Sorry. Let me see. Everybody's blocking my supers now. What is this life? Um. Ah. Uh, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon Zenogo, Kirby, I don't really care for most of the common enemies. Um, Donkey Kong, I think the Kremlins are kind of silly. Man, I got nothing. <laughs> Waluigi, is he a common enemy? No, you never see him anywhere because he's nowhere. <laughs> this is very true. Um. I need an assist, right, man. Can I nut. can I call the helpline? I'll give you I'll give you Dark Nut. Give I'll me Dark Nut. How about that? Okay, perfect. I'll take the Space Pirate. You can you can have the Dark Nut. Also, we both get Shy Guy. Oh, oh sweet. Awesome. Is there any like a Dark Nut returns or? Dark Nut should what? return. I hope he does. Vex, you play Twilight Princess, right? Yeah, I was making a Dark Nut joke. Oh. I didn't think about that. I don't think that Vanks has ever even spent much time even Gosh, seeing darts. what tennis aces look like, Achilles. No, I, I don't really care for tennis aces too much. Oh, a chain chomp would be pretty cool. Yeah, chain chomp's in aces. Yeah, he that. should be in Smash. Let's put him in. Let's put him in. Get Chain right. Chomp in there. Well, then I'm throwing away Dark Nut. I'll keep Space Pirate. Like, the real answer was Shy Guy, but since I had to choose someone else, Chain Chomp. Cuckoo Swarm. <laughs> cuckoo Swarm. You couldn't just pick one Cuckoo? <laughs> no, not <laughs> one Cuckoo. Not, cuckoo not a Golden Cuckoo, not a Giant Big Fat Super. Cuckoo. One Cuckoo, a cuckoo Storm. storm. But no, he wants the super, what would be a super, to be just the character. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Vex is greedy. He is greedy. I agree. That's why he's losing. Let's see. Also, Waluigi is the main villain in Mario Dance, because Waluigi is the best dancer in the Mushroom Kingdom, which is also why he has the strongest legs. Oh. Fair enough. I mean, I think that Wario had some smooth moves in Wario Smooth Moves. He did have smooth moves in Mario Smooth Moves. Wario Smooth Moves. Wario wears smooth moves. He's that a man a of smooth moves. And I don't think Waluigi was in that game. I don't know about you, but Wario wears smooth moves does not have Waluigi. So I would say almost everybody in Wario wears smooth moves has better dancing. <laughs> you just jumped! Yes, I did. Oh, man. I did not see that coming. That's why I hit. The official Nintendo War was made to be broken. I've heard that... Like, I played Master of Disguise, and I actually thought it was fine, but I don't think the Twitch community has a high opinion of that game. I think the Wario community does not care for that game for some reason. Yeah, rip. Very, very sad. Also, I didn't. I, I actually started looking up Wario where Wario Master of Disguise, like, on the internet, and I realized people don't actually uh, think this game is that great. <laughs> that does appear to be the case. Which is unfortunate. I thought it was kind of unreal. 
I mean, it's not Wario Land 1, 2, 3, 4, and Wario World and Shake It, but... Uh, yeah. It was fun. Pretty fun. I actually haven't played all those Wario Lands. I've only played 3 and 4. Um, Wario 3 was a really good one. I think it's probably the mo one you can go back to the most. The least. Because it's just really long and puzzly. And, uh, the path is very, like, the path to winning is not going to Mm-hmm. The way the game moves around is very, um, something where you want to, it's like, it's kind of like Zelda. Once you play it, once you want to forget about all Gosh darn it! Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Oh, no. Thanks. Ah. <sighs> It just sucks so much because I have this giant lead who's like, no man, he has kunais, I can't do anything. But yeah, thanks. You know how like when you play Zelda and you know all the puzzles, you don't want to play it again for a while because then you know all the puzzles. It's kind of like What's wrong that. with knowing all the puzzles? Well, I mean for like a... Th yeah. It's not as fun if you know all the puzzles. If you re remember all the puzzles... It can be fun to do, do all the puzzles over. as fast as you can. Well, a s I mean, if you like it that much. I mean, because, like, there's plenty of people that don't even speedrun games, but just enjoy them so much, they just play them again and again, and they find a joy, you know, beating certain sections as fast as they can, and being like, oh, wow, look at that. I'm good. I mean, sure, I'm sure there's some people out there, but I feel like this is pretty common. Like when you when the kind of game where the replay value kind of tapers off because you've already solved it and now if you do it again it won't feel the same. I mean, if we're being like a hundred percent real right now, most people outside of like kids don't replay games. All right, fair. Ooh, <laughs> let's go, Zangief. Yo, that was such a good opening. Ooh, and the super armor and stunned. That was such a good option, because Vex couldn't do anything, he had to block it, and he didn't block it, so it was a free stun. Because he wow. had no option. Vex, I'm so sorry for you. Yo, Zangief just exploded on him. Yo, I man. mean, he is the mat, like, look at him. He's literally a robot, alright. Gonna jump out of that grab, saw it coming. Ooh, wasn't ready. Got poked twice into the EX command grab. Next option is EX. Yeah, didn't want to make the read. That was real smart. Ooh, tap, tap, grab. That's that's a diamond Zangief for sure. All right, here we go. He doesn't want to be... Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Just like he got on the Alex, just like he got on the G. Ooh, rip, though. I thought that, was, uh, I thought that worked like Abigail, where you just, like, push it once and then... Ouch. Man, that's Zangief. It's like he's coming with, with like coming at like max horsepower <laughs> yeah see like when i said you know that uh he was diamond and that he was really good and that we were lucky he wasn't playing zangief i meant it <laughs> that's uh that's that Zangief. Was, that was quite fast yo that if there was a team fair. rocket grunt character like i wouldn't mind a second like pokemon trainer character like oh, there's boy. so much room for that that has to be an echo well i guess it couldn't be an echo if, if yeah it couldn't be an echo that... If they have their own Pokemon, then obviously it can't be Echoes. Yeah. Okay, smart. Vex is starting to jump out of these, uh, combos. It's like, he'll be doing a two-hit combo, and then, you know, it's like, ah, let me get this grab real quick. How do those blocks work? Oh, that was a long range. How yeah, blocks Zangief work? has the longest grabs in the game. But blocking works, you just kind of hold back, and you block. Does it have to be in like specific spots? Um, if they're if your opponent's in the air or using an overhead attack, which is like unique properties, then you have to be blocking while standing, so you literally just hold back. If they're hitting you with their itty bitty toesies, then that's a low attack, and you have to hold down and back at the same time to block that. Oh, bro, what the? Bluggy. Yo, someone dropped their uh, combo. We back? Yeah, it looks fine on my end. I can't see the lag. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Alright, there's the headbutt. 
There's another headbutt. Yeah, Zangief has crazy strong pressure. Oh, he could have punished that EX, but he messed it up. But yeah, he's still got plenty of HP. And no, X from the... Like, it, it's... Like, I don't know what it is on your end, but it is not, like... This is not a thing. Yeah, no, I, I can't see anything. It looks super smooth. The smoothest I've ever seen. I believe you. I'm just saying how it looks for me. Alright. You know, good options. Got... Like, if you can get one real... Oh, yeah, one normal combo now after that throw. But yeah, Killjoy has full super, so he can't get supered. Oh wait, that's right. Super doesn't deal chip. It's just a grab. <laughs> Never mind. And yeah, invincibility is gonna win that out. That, that was solid. Yes, bro. Yo, that game, like the first, like whole half of that full round was just like working. Uh, Killjoy says the lag won't show on your end. Gotcha. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we're just getting the inputs. Like, that's super disappointing. I had literally no idea what was going on, like, for half of that game. Yeah, rest in peace, my noble friend. Yo, you gotta upgrade your internet, Vex. He's moving. He is moving, and he'll have better internet soon. That's why you dropped the DP punish? Yeah, I gotcha. Now, Akali's Vinx, is there a Mega Man minion you'd want in Smash? Um, I mean, the only one I think that would make sense is, like, Sniper Joe, but I don't want any Mega Man minions as, like, characters in Smash. I want Proto Man, I want Base, I want Zero, I want Mega Man X, I want Mega Man.exe. I want literally everybody. I mean, I don't really care for the Star Force ones. I never played the Star Everybody's Force games. Here, I also don't care for Mega Man Legends either. Like, I've never really played the Legends games. Like, I played them once, and that was kind of it. Then why aren't we playing that one Mega Man fighter game where you get to be Mega Man characters? Um, because it's not very good. He grabbed my arm from so far away! I mean, you are Abigail. I am Abigail. Oh, he's flexing on me, dude. No, I didn't want to jump out of that. I'm good. Oh, that's... Wait, no, I do have... Yeah, he jumps. Don't lose. I'm trying not to, but he's really good. That's not an excuse. <laughs> How's my opponent being really good? Not an excuse. Oh, Vile? Yo, Vile would be amazing. That's the whole point of your dojo. Blackham, do you know Vile? Who's that? Oh, no, yeah. No, I know. I know. I played Mega Man X one, one time. Yeah, Vile. Oh, that's a really good choice. I agree. Yeah, he jumps around in a circle, and then he shoots some stuff, and then he jumps around in a circle again. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, he's uh, pretty fit for not joining. Oh, he blocked it! I didn't expect the block! <sighs> this robot is gonna kill me. I think he already did. Oh, yep, he did. <laughs> so much range, man. Well, you tried your darndest. I did try my darndest. Yeah, no, nah, he did say he would anti-air me. I jumped two times in a row, that was dumb. Uh, come on, Vinx, just get good. <laughs> just win the game, Slash S. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you're it's, right. No, no, it's not just Slash S. Do you see his dojo name? It dojo is name is get, get good. good. So he has to just get good. <laughs> just oh, no, win. The, the zombie is evil. I don't like evil oh, zombie. Wait, mean, is he evil just because he's a robot? No, he's the Shadow Lube logo on his chest. Well, I mean, like, he can't help where he came from. Yes, he can. He's a robot. That's exactly the opposite of how you can stop. No! That's not how life works! It's not life, it's a robot. Yeah, and uh, robots can't choose who built you grab them. me off of like... that? No! I tried to jump, but I was too slow! Someone said help! Which mom they come from? If, if I was a baby, and I... and I, uh... no. I don't know. If anybody was a baby, they were just allowed to choose, okay, I don't want this mom. Can I be born to someone else? Exactly, they, they don't get those choices. They don't get those choices. Mm -hmm. Mom has to get that choice. 
Just robots like, do not like, get that choice. They do not get to choose where they're going. go built. to their destination, and that is where they go. The baby is not allowed to tell the, the stork to go to a different place. Mm -hmm. Yes, there. Nope, that's not it. Mario had to go to the, the parents, no matter what. That's why Yoshi was there, and the stork, and, and everything. And it was all fake. All of them. Rest in peace. Everything I know is a lie. Yoshi had to eat many, many poor girls. I tried to super. I got out of lack punch. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna get, like, bodied a lot harder than that, but yeah, nah. I'm not a huge say, fan of this matchup. I get bodied Zang by gold Zangiefs all the time. Zangief is kinda... a robot in this, huh? Um, if you wear the robot skin, yeah. <laughs> I got out a light punch. <laughs> I really didn't want that light punch. I wanted the super. I mean, you had blocked the last one, but I felt good about that one. And you were pressing a button, but I didn't super because I'm bad. That's why I'm gold. The Robo Zangief was made by Shadowloo to counter Zangief to emulate his power. <laughs> That's awesome. He works for Shadowloo. Yeah, but it's not his choice. We've gone over this. When you're a robot... When you're a robot, you are programmed to do certain things. You can't fight your programming unless you are programmed to fight your programming. I am a machine. You just don't understand muscle power. <laughs> you can't have muscle power if you're a machine. You can have robo-wire power. It can be close. Mm -hmm. Except not really. Wires are very different from muscles. Yo, man, if you want to see the sadness that is robots being designed for things they didn't want to be designed for, you gotta play the Persona 4 Arena story for Labrys. It is so sad. Man, I almost cried. I almost cried reading that. I might have shed maybe one or two tears, but... It's tough. Blackham, have you ever played any of the Persona games? No. Yo, you gotta expand your horizon, my good friend. They don't look interesting aesthetically to me, so the answer is... Oh, but the aesthetic's so good! Do you not like the aesthetic? I don't know. Is it just like anime-looking things that you don't like? Very stylish. And yo, hold up, Nuku-chan just subscribed with the tier 1 sub 16 months in a row. Saying you're the best around, nothing's ever going to keep you down. <laughs> yo, thank you so much, Nuki Chan. And yo, top tier reference. Yo, no, Nuki Chan, the a, best. I'm not averse to anime. That's good, because anime is where it's at, Quackum. You don't but understand. But I don't watch much anime. I read manga a lot more than I watch Oh, anime. yeah, no, I, I can understand that. Reading manga is the real way. That's the secret. I would read more manga, but it's like I don't have a lot of downtime. And when I do have downtime, it's generally like me eating, uh, doing dishes, like cleaning laundry, stuff like that. And like, I can't read manga and do those at the same time. But I can watch anime and do those at the same time. But yeah, I'm not averse to anime, and I'm not averse to RPGs, it's just the stories are so ever. I mean, that's what it is, though. Like, it's very subjective, you know? Some I people know. are not going to enjoy, like, seeing the same story. Some people love the simplicity of Mario. Some people want the complexity, yet tropes of, like, you know, the hero's journey and all that. Yeah. When I, when I play JRPGs, I don't mind that the story is not super, you know, complex. I just don't want to hear the same keynotes that I hear. Oh, I mean, that's just, that's just, just tropes, certain, man. Like, yeah, there's just a very common tropes that occur in JRPGs that make that like grind my gears, and that's. I mean, but you I, gotta realize, right? Like, that's that's part of I them being JRPGs. Not, I understand that I'm, that I'm not the majority. Mm-hmm. Because like, what your problem is. 
is that you're probably playing too many, like, you know, straightforward RPGs. Find the quirky ones. But my problem with Persona is just the aesthetics, really. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it, Super it, Saiyan Charizard says, I got a bad ending on Persona Golden, which had me sit down and reevaluate my life choices. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, man. Persona, like, is crazy. I've, personally, myself, I've never played any of the RPGs. My first experience with Persona was Persona 4 Arena, because I'm really into fighting games. And I normally don't play the stories in fighting games because they're always bad. But like, you know, I've been playing Persona 4 Arena for like half a year, maybe it had been a full year at that point. And like, I didn't have any friends to play with. And I was like, well, I still want to play. And I was like, all right, let me try out the story mode. And I didn't do Labyrinth first. I did Yukiko, I think, because Yukiko was my main character. And it was like really quirky and interesting. Like I was like, yeah, this is, this is actually pretty cool. And I learned things about the characters, and I started playing other characters that I like, like Kanji, and Kanji's one, like, really was interesting to me. Because, like, all the characters have, like, these faults, or, you know, they're, like, really insecure about something, and they have these, like, shadows, like, that person personify all the things about themselves that they don't like, and the stories are about the characters accepting themselves for who they are. And that was just so cool to me. And, you know, that's how it is for all the main characters. But then you play Labrys, and Labrys is completely different. It's a very full-fledged story. Like, it's so much longer than all the other characters. And it is so sad, oh my goodness. Like, you do some things, and it's like, wow, really? Um, because of the way it's presented, it is very, very dialogue text-heavy. There's a lot of text boxes in Labrys' playthrough, but oh my goodness, if that is not, like, the most interesting story I think I've ever read, like, in uh, any video game. Like, not just fighting games. Like, that was a very, very good story. Uh, Persona or SMT in general? Yeah, no, those are just good games, I'm told. I haven't played Persona or SMT. I've only played Persona 4 Arena, the fighting game, and that is how I got to learn the characters, like Mitsuru from, like, Persona 3, um, uh, Kanji, Chi, uh, Yu, all of them. I learned all of them through uh, Persona 4 Arena. Yukiko's from Golden 2? Yeah, because she's in the Persona 4 game. Persona 4 Golden? Yeah, Killjoy saying GG, still kind of laggy. Yeah, no, man. That's unfortunate. Because, like, me, myself, like, I don't know about you two. Well, I say I don't know about you two. I know about Vex. I have, like, amazing internet. Like, I'm not trying to brag, but, like, legit. Like, I can have, like, 15 tabs of YouTube open. Uh, three tabs of Netflix, I can be streaming at the same time, playing a game connected to the internet while doing jumping jacks, and like, I'm not gonna lag. Unless I'm like playing with someone that has a really, really bad connection. Cause like, uh, Vex, like I've seen him lag in multiple games. Part of Smash Brothers was not the greatest connection. But to be fair, Smash also just doesn't have the best networking. Yeah, no, my internet's pretty good. But I generally don't lag, even if my opponent has bad internet. It has to be, like, really bad. Or we have to be playing Smash. Oh, that's cheating. Huh, that is not what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> I punched the kunai. The kunai got punched. I tried to light punch, I just wasn't fast enough. Uh, Killjoy says, I have decent internet. I recently started streaming. The stream runs really well. Okay, that's good. So yeah, it's definitely Vex then. Because uh, out of all of us... Uh, like, I've seen Vex's streams. And while they're amazing, I'm not trying to like be mean or anything like that. But, like, he does drop frames. It happens. Like, generally, whenever... He's playing a game and it's like there's a lot of stuff on screen then yeah it starts to lag out or not lag but like just all the frames are going bye frames we'll miss you forever uh, there's nothing is i have the absolute fastest internet i can possibly have in my area it's the fastest they offer yeah because you live in the mountains right yep yeah mountain village. yeah rest in peace mountains dude, dude why am i so jumping funny. That sounds pretty epic, though, don't you think? Living in a mountain village? Not really. 
the Not idea. Not unless there's like a dragon temple or something up there, and I get to go there save the world with my new dragon there? powers. All right, Vex, to give us the scoop. Where's the dragon temple in your game? Next to the uh, koala. <laughs> oh, that's very convenient. I appreciate that. Next to the what? Oh yeah, I still can't jump. I didn't quite. Hear. Next to the wawa. Oh, hey, Vex knows what a wawa is. What? I didn't know I how. Jersey, I didn't know. But I didn't know when you went and when you when you lived in New Jersey. My entire life. Um, what are your thoughts on Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? Alright, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, I love the game very, very much. I love how accessible it is to people that have never played Pokemon before. I personally have, like, um, family members that are new to playing Pokemon and just video games in general. So watching them, like, have so much fun with this game that's so much more accessible than the main line is just super good times. You know, we get to share that experience. The fact that it's the exact same Kanto region is awesome. Cause I can be like, oh hey, there's a secret spot I want to show you. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, just go over the water over here. And there's a whole power plant with Voltorbs and Magnemites and everything. And they're like, what? It blows their mind. And that makes me happy. And Vex Legend. just kept throwing me. But um, it's very interesting. Cause the game's really easy while also being a bit difficult at the same time. If you use Eevee or Pikachu, whatever your starter is, and you don't really swap them out at all, they're gonna level up really fast, and the moves that they can learn are kind of ridiculous. And so, for kids that are new, you know, they're generally gonna use those characters, and I think it's gonna go really well for them. For people that, um, you know, are more hardcore into their Pokemon experiences or what have you, you know, they'll be swapping characters around, maybe not even using Pikachu and Eevee. And like, if you're not catching a lot of Pokemon, you're going to be under leveled at times, which is always really cool. As you know, it's going to be more important the choices you make in the game. I like that you see all the Pokemon in the overworld. I absolutely love that. I think that is an amazing change, and I hope they bring that to the uh, core mainline Pokemon games. It just makes the world feel so much more like lived in and interesting, Naimo. Um, I love that you can catch Pokemon. Uh, like that. I know not everybody likes the whole go system or whatever. They're like, uh, da 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 This is like I'm playing a phone game or something like that. But I definitely really like that. Because it just speeds up the game so much. Because, uh, like, I speedrun Pokemon Red. And so playing this new game and having all these options is, like, just so cool. And, uh, yeah, no, and, like, especially, like, right? Say you see, like, a bunch of Zubats. Like you see a bunch of Zubats, and you don't have to, like, have them ruin your day. That doesn't have to happen at all. That's totally thanks thinking about Pokemon. That's the best, because you go into Mount Moon, you see a bunch of Zubats, and you just walk around them. So, I enjoy the game that's so much. The, that's the uh, Pokemon speaker in the right now. I'm, no, that's the me being Vanks. I hate Zubats. <laughs> I've always hated Zubats. That didn't start when I started speedrunning the game. Do you have any idea how many repels I buy in like every Pokemon game, hoping to not have to go into another cave with more Zubats? I know, you hate bats. I do, I do hate bats. I don't like them. You hate bat. Well, some people like bats. What, what about those people? What about the people that like bats? They can go catch their bats. They can see the bats and then go catch them. But I don't have to do it. And that's what's important. I get options. What's his bitrate at? Yeah, what what bitrate do you stream at, Vex? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't it's probably 2,000 or 2,500. I think that's the default. I don't think he's streaming right now. He's not streaming right now, that's for sure. Um, at least they aren't Ninja Gaiden birds. <laughs> this is true, we did bring those up earlier. Yeah, personally, I think I stream at 2000 something. I, I can't remember actually, now that I remember. I used to stream at like 2000, but then I switched to OBS Studio and it like automatically was like, okay, I'm gonna figure out what's best for you. I haven't like touched it since then. So whatever it set it to is what I'm on. Uh, 
trying to make my level look pretty. And it's pretty. Not too far away. It was enough a chip. I didn't think it would be enough. I believed. It does 80 damage. Yo, that's an awesome review. I'm playing it right now. <clears throat> I was just curious on your opinion. I totally agree with the overworld Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, no, man. I'm very uh, enthusiastic about the Pokemon, so I'm happy to talk about it. Absolutely. Sometimes it puts too much. Yeah, I personally haven't had any troubles uh, with my stream. Like, it's been pretty legit. Oh, yeah, I'm not in V-Trigger. <laughs> okay. I can never get out when I want it. No, you have to go for uh, something else, and then you'll accidentally do it. That's how it works. Yep, I jumped. My name is Sphinx, and I like to jump into pain. Not a good thing. It's not like the greatest thing, but I'm just being a truther, you know? Sometimes you gotta tell the truth. Oh my goodness, you played it real slow, man. Because it's like, I can't, like see you do it, and then be like, okay, it's time to grab. What would I name a Gyarados? Leviathan. Nukachan says, now I want to play Let's Go even more than I did before. <laughs> Gotta wait till Christmas, though? Yo, definitely do it. Such a good game. I enjoy it to bits and pieces. Yep, that's the wrong kick button. Ah, he jumped so early. Not useless anymore? Yo. Oh, what, the Zubats? I mean, yeah, you can, like, chain them or whatever and get points from that, but... Not in love with the Zubats. Zubats are mean. They are mean. But they also deserve their rightful place as the mean things. Because they're bats. What else do you want your bat to be? I don't know. Except, I think it's perfect fit. I think Vanks is being a baby. I am a baby. Oh, I jumped! I lost! Because I jumped! <laughs> I just, I get so, because like, I'm always focused. Like, I'll get him to a corner. I'm like, okay, goal, don't let him get out of the corner. And then he gets out of the corner. I'm like, all right, goal, don't get hit by V-Trigger. And then he just gets so far away from me, and I'm like, all right, now I'm in there, time to jump. I just, I don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I gotta stop Sometimes doing that. I just, is important. I just throw games away, man. I'm just so focused on certain things that I just stop thinking about, uh, remembering not to jump. Because it's so tough, because it's like, if he gets to the other side of me, when he's like in the corner, that's the full screen. The entire full screen. I cannot stand in heavy punch. I can't giant flip. Like, even just pressing light punch can be game. So I have to just slowly walk forward, try to bait out the stupid kunais. And then when he runs out of kunais, that's when I get more reckless and try to go in. But again, I still can't jump. Oh, <laughs> you want to name the Gyarados not useless anymore? Oh, geez. that's too long a name. Uh oh, the return of G. What you got, Mr. Mr. President? Round one. Fight. Suffer like G did. Yo. Awesome. I don't see Vex do that too much. But yeah, that was a great ins uh crush counter. And then got the combo off of it. Uh oh, maximum president. You could steal the game. There's a V-Trigger that steals games, besides Abigail's and Abuki's. Probably Maximum Presidents, but... Looks like he wasn't ready to block those mix-ups. Yeah, you gotta apply all the pressure, man. All the pressure. But also, don't get hit by EX. It's no good. Alright, good jumping. Yeah, there's the overhead, him trying to tech the grab. That's been happening a lot. I'm so glad I'm not the only person that does that. Yeah, watching Vex, you know, do that on a diamond player. 
makes me feel better about my own <laughs> like attempts and falling at that or failing at that. Ooh, yeah, the double dash in. Gonna get EX. All right, going to zoning, but there's the jump. Oh, I know how it feels. You think you can just jump in, but you're not thinking about the V trigger and you lose all your HP. So much damage. That was really hard to hit on G. He had a weird hitbox. Yeah. He's a lanky president. I mean, he's got buff arms, but he's got real long legs. He's a big man. But, um... Also, bluffing kick throw into overhead is such a good tactic with a previous. It's like, it's ridiculous. It really is. It's very good. Like, you're not the only person who gets hit by that. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. That's good to hear, man. Fight. Ooh, man. That kick has range for days. Yeah, jab, jab, crouching medium punch. Pretty good, uh, string from Vex. And yeah, gets the jump in. But oh yeah, Killjoy protects himself, and then the Shuriken, or Shuriuken, interesting. There we go, that looks That nice. rising kick of hers, man. I don't know the actual properties to her non-EX ones. And I assume they have some sort of invincibility here and there. Wow, look at that damage. Tried to jump in, but yeah. Kabuki just kind of teleported out. Ooh, yep, there's another EX. And dashed into the EX Kunai. I don't think that EX Kunai was on purpose. It wasn't EX, it was just Kunai. It looked like it was glowing on my screen. It was because he was using a uh, presidential power. Oh, okay. Yo, good pressure, and then yeah, just backs off for the jump and got the jump in, but drops whatever he was going for. Yo, good zoning from G. It's two of those trades. There's the jump in and there's the grab. Yeah, now, okay, there we go. Vex with the anti air. Yeah, Killjoy was saying he should anti air more, and uh, Vex was like, alright, I got you. I will anti air. Yeah, that's so. Like, it's so unique. That's so rare. I never see him use that normal. I never it see Vex use that normal. everything you do in the air. <laughs> yep. Because, like, I used to see him use it, like, months ago, but yeah. We eventually hit a point where he just stopped using that button. I was like, nope, <laughs> this button's no good. Alright. Killjoy says the overhead tick throw is really not the best, lol. I'm just kinda on autopilot. I mean, that's how it works, right? Like, everybody's going to be doing things that they're generally used to. And then that's how you get fucked. Because it's like, you're not, like, when you go against somebody, you're generally not going to, like, immediately adapt to whatever it is that they're doing. You're generally going to play how you play and do what works. And then when it start and when it stops working, that's when you're like, all right, maybe I shouldn't autopilot. Autopilot's not the same thing as doing things you're used to. I mean, I know the term autopilot, like, um, like, hmm, how to phrase this? Because it's like, me right now, I'm autopiloting. Because I'm talking to you, not really focusing on the match. But, if I was just doing what I wanted to do, it'd kind of be the exact same thing. But like, if I'm focusing on the match and thinking about it, then like, I'll be crouching like this and trying to like, zone out. Like, this is how I want to play, like, against Vex's Ibuki specifically. And then, you know, I'll play more careful, but when I'm autopiloting, I don't play very careful and I fall for his tricks. Get out of here, little Ibuki. I really thought you would EX there, but nope. <laughs> he just walked up to me and threw! Are you serious? Get out of here! Why are you always surprised by Ah, oh, jeez. Man, do I super? Nah. Like, more or less, I'm just trying to get used to G. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair, man. Yeah, now G's such a cool character. I really like him. I think he's very Every interesting. Every time I hear the word G in the name, I immediately think House of the Dead 2, suffer like G. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Suffer like G did. <laughs> yeah, that is the name of one of the guys, isn't it? Yeah, the first Oh boss, man, I haven't played House of the Dead in forever, man, those are good times. The literal first boss of the game 
like says that line and delivers it like a like so a terribly. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so it's so funny. It's so bad. It's good. Definitely. It was very fun game. You win. Yeah, no, I, I get you killed, you. I see what you're saying. Oh man. Ah, House you of know the they Dead. Have? They, the new House of the Dead came out, but I can't find anybody to do it with. Vex, when you come to New Jersey, we gotta go to a Dave and Buster's or something Round and play one. that game. I have never been to a Dave and Buster's. I've always wanted to go. It's the only yeah, if place I, like it is right now, so that's why I say it. Yeah, if it sounds like I'm saying like I don't think you know what you're doing, that's definitely not what I mean. I have a lot of respect for you as a diamond player, and off also on top of that. Take a wild look at what's right next to my uh, profile thing. You know, the red Abigail picture in the top right? Do you see what's next to that? I have a certain respect for a certain character who I think is very hard to play and takes a lot of skill to be really good with. I enjoy that character quite a bit. Oh man, I used to watch Snake Eyes all the time. I loved watching him play, man. He's just so good at the game. Ah, gosh darn it. Excuse you. Why not just get hit by the other one, man? I hate how it auto cracks you. Welcome to Street Fighter V, X. It's been like no, this in Street Fighter IV. Other characters don't get auto cracked, but for some reason Abigail does. I've jumped over so many people's supers before. I mean, yeah, it happens. Like other, like different characters have different like auto turnaround, like success rates or whatever. But auto turnaround is just a thing in the game. Abigail's you can't jump at all. Yup, that's Abigail. Do you mind? You don't. Oh, I guess I wasn't close enough. You couldn't have been in hit stun, you were moving. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yo, Exploding Jellyfish is in here. How you doing, Exploding Jellyfish? Nice to see you, man. Hopefully you're doing really good. Oh, I expected you to, like, EX. Oh, am I dead? This does so much damage. No, not dead. Not yet. Ah, you have too much HP. Because it was the plan, but I was too busy looking at your kunai's and not the top of the screen. I thought it was misinput, that was... Bizarre. No, no, I, I wanted that. But it's hard to see all the things when you... When you did the EX, I got very frustrated. I hate playing around the stage in your kunai's, it frustrates me. I think he switched out the clothing to not be Christmassy. I mean, it's still red. And it's got white, like, fluffles. That's pretty Santa y. I guess. It I, really I is. Like, fluffles. come on. I didn't see the fluffles. Oh, you didn't see the fluffles? Yeah, it's got the fluffles. Alright, that's pretty Christmas. It needs more green, though. That's a very <laughs> foolish green. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted. Could have done so much more damage, had more screen carry. Ah, uh, I thought you would go for the grab. Did Ninja Smax ever use his two points from base? No. Okay. Let's see, if you... I see you land that cross up a bunch and you just kind of do crouching light kick, crouching light kick, crouching light punch. Like, I'll hit him and not expect to land the hit. I can't like see that I'm getting a confirm and then just do the combo. Like I'm like, I'm either believing in it, cause like see right there, right? I didn't land the jumping heavy kick, like he blocked it. And so I did light kick, light kick, light punch. That's my block string. Like, I'm doing a block stream because I'm expecting him to block. If I feel like I'm going to get it off, then I'll do something else. There we go. <laughs> oh, you, you just did it! No shenanigans! 
This kunai V trigger time. Press a cross up. One day it will. <laughs> One Super Saiyan Charizard, I'm going to head to bed. Got work in the early in the morning. Being an adult is lame. Night everyone. Oh yeah, I gotta go to bed too. <laughs> I forgot about that. I should do that. No. Yeah, no, I, I kind of got to wake up. Don't do it. Just doing what I gotta do, man. Oh, hey, hello. Ow. You don't have to do it. Um, that's if you can visually confirm off of just the hit itself. Yeah, no, I'm not pretty good at that. I'm not really good at seeing things and reacting real fast. Not no. so much. I'm pretty slow at those kind of things. What pixel shader is just pixels instead of like blotchy? I don't even know. I don't want it to look as blotchy anymore. No! Turn off pixel shaders somehow. Point. Point is good. Take point. Oops, I blew it. I hope it's okay. Ah, he swapped right as it got there, man. I tried to block it. Final round. Fight. Yeah, listening for the sound is probably better. I react to uh, sounds better than visuals. Oh, hey! I hear the mouse. What are you doing, mouse? What are you doing? You're freaking me out. <laughs> I keep hearing him. We'll be alright. Oh, you had another one of those? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. Because we're just constantly playing at this range where it's like, I can't hit him with any of my normals. But if I jump in, I get hit by, you know, the stupid V-trigger. Though he had just used it twice. Or it's like, um, yeah, I get hit by that dumb Superman. He didn't have any kunais. Normally he'll, like, kunai into whatever. Because it's like, ah, I feel like I'm such in a positive situation, but it always goes downhill. This has to be my last game. Alright. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll cheer you guys on on this one, and yeah, I'll probably... I'll, no, I will go to bed after this as well. I should go to bed. I should probably have gone to bed too, but I'm almost done with this level. Yo, you do what you gotta do, Glackham, but I'm going to bed after this game for sure. I'm um, exploring Jellyfish says her name is Ibuki. Yes, her name is Ibuki. And yeah, Pyro says sounds are a lot faster for the brain to process than visuals. Yeah. Like, sounds definitely work. I just have to, like, get better at, like, hearing the difference, which would probably help if I had better headphones, but, like, it's like the right headphone doesn't work. There's no sound that comes out. I can only hear out of the left one. So every now and then, I'll hear zero sounds whatsoever. Like, I'll hear the music of the game, but I won't hear any of the sound effects. Round one. Which generally isn't too much of a problem. But it's not the best. I'll get new headphones one day, eventually. Are you typing like a paper there, Glacken? Yeah, I'm tweeting. <laughs> yeah, no, I can hear each like little key press. Yo, man, he's jumping for days. Yo, that's a crush counter. Ooh, doesn't quite get the combo on that. It's probably because I have headphones on. I don't notice how loud I'm typing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty low. Um, Akali is saying goodnight, Banks in chat. Banks, I'll be here for Smash U viewer battles sometime next week. Yo, nice, man. Yo, we gotta get in there. I wanna play a lot of Smash. I wanna do a lot of viewer battles. I'll be playing lots and lots of Smash Brothers, so let's do it. Alright, oh, misses that. Doesn't get a punish, though. Ooh, hits him for the dash. Good job, G. This is why I voted for him for president. I mean, I didn't vote, but I would have voted. If I had voted for him, it would have been great. Yo, such good block strings, though. Oh, there's the jump in! Oh, he didn't complete the combo. Alright, dashes in, just kind of gets checked in the face with a jab. Jump in command throw! That is why he is a good character in my book. It's like, he gets so much damage out of his command throws. I mean, he's no Zangief, but yeah, no, those command throws aren't half bad. Yeah, really good, like, Sony there, man. Yeah, his spacing was really good. Mouse, yeah. stop chewing on something. <laughs> um, Jellyfish says, as we have discussed last night, we played this game on stream. I'm not good at fighters, but if there's any game I want to learn to play competitively, it's Smash Ultimate. Well, yo, if you want to get any tips, I mean, not that, like, I'm super good at the game yet, because I haven't played it, but I was really, really good at Smash 4, so I'm hoping, you know, my fundamentals will carry over. I mean, because fundamentals generally just carry over from game to game, but I will have to learn as I go. But yeah, no, man. Jellyfish, if you want to play a lot of Smash, I got you. Game just needs to come out first. So much damage. So much damage. That's an interesting anti here. Right, there's a block string. Yeah, Vex has full everything. He just has to, like, yep, there we go. Kunai into V trigger. Yeah, that's pretty decent damage. Ooh, and got the crush counter there, but I. He dropped the, uh. Sure, you can. Oh, gets the overhead. Very close to stun. Oh, uh, went for the grab and he jumped out of it. Good stuff. Yeah, if he would have got that grab, that definitely would have been the stun, but nah, he was ready. Uh, Jellyfish says, lol, it's funny, because they are focusing more on competitive play in Smash Ultimate. They also have to make sure that their servers actually <laughs> work. Think their servers will be ready when it releases? No. No. No, not at all. Like, if you, we look at, like, any of these, like, uh, networking tests that, uh, Nintendo's done, like, be it with ARMS, be it with Splatoon, whatever, like, they have always, like, had more, you know, trouble than what they were expecting. I mean, they sorted it out for the most part, but just based on their track record, I don't think there's any reason to be overly excited for Smash's networking. I want to be. I really do. But if, like, I was a betting man, I would bet that their servers aren't going to be the best. And especially the, like, crazy number of people that are going to be getting Smash Ultimate. It's like, without a doubt, I think it's going to sell more than Smash 4 did. And Smash 4 did really good, you know, despite the fact that the Wii U was a console that, like, not a lot of people picked up. Abraham Lincoln's, like... Oh, it was the golden... The, I don't know, he's like half gold now? Confused. Yeah, red and gold. This mouse is freaking me out. I do not like it. I don't know. It, it's it looks like he's gold, but a lot of him looks normal. He's yeah, it's like it's a mix of the two. Gold. He's normal and gold. Okay. Yeah, you gotta look at the particular spots, and some of the spots move around a little bit. So what you're telling me is is that he's weird. He is weird. Yes. All right, got him in the corner, but ooh, yeah, he covers himself very well there. Oh, tries to take the throw. There was no throw. It was just that attack, and there's the jump. Yup. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> yeah, rip. Yo. I don't know. I don't know why. Poor Killjoy. Got his controller. The disconnect. Yo, he didn't stop. Yo, no, man. Vex, did you notice his controller disconnected? I did when I backed up and then he started throwing punches again, so I won't back. Yeah, yeah, no, man. It is what it is. Rest in peace. Yeah, Killjoy, and I think, uh, Lumda. And Vex used to disconnect all the time, but I think Vex doesn't disconnect. Did you get a new controller, Vex? Yeah, I told you, I bought an Xbox One controller. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was a good choice. Alright, yep, there's the overhead. He was blocking low. Here's the throw tech. 
Go gets the sweep into activating the B trigger. To out of the corner. Up oh, there's the jump in. Which I'm noticing is happening a lot when he's like using that whatever that weird kick is. I, I don't know exactly which move that is, but Alright, that time he just kinda jumped right in front of him. No. It, really tough to deal with Ibuki's jump ins in my opinion. Alright, yep, now he says no to that. Jumps in himself, applies some pressure. You know, Vex backing off. Ooh, but dashes in. Yeah, now I'm in. This is the longest I think I've seen them play in neutral in a bit. Oh, there's the jump in, and there we go! Big damage. Why Big is that damage. Is oh. Is like different? No, it looked like it was just mistimed to me. Ooh, so close to stun. Oh, whips the grab was just a little bit too far away. It's put in the corner. Uses medium punches to keep himself safe. Ooh, opens up with a V trigger. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And there's the Shoryuken. That'll do it. That was supposed to be super, but... <laughs> it's always supposed to be super vex. You don't have to tell me. You don't, don't just sure you don't non EX sure you can. All non EX sure you can are super inputs you can't do. We definitely aren't playing neutral. You were playing it for a little bit. And then Vex realized it was a bad idea and he started jumping and then he started getting really big damage. But um that'll do me for tonight, guys. Much love to everybody who came by. Um I will probably be playing some more Street Fighter V tomorrow. Like I'm just having a lot of fun with Street Fighter V right now. I'll probably um, be playing this till like Smash comes out. When Smash comes out, everything else is gonna fall to the side for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely like gold. Like the more gold you are, the less you like play neutral. But play to win. That's uh, it's just kind of how it is. As long as you play to win and you're winning games, that's all that matters. If you uh, are losing, you need to change what you're doing. If you're winning, then you're doing good, you're going to rank up, and as you rank up, you're going to continually come across better opponents, and those better opponents are going to check you if you can't do what you need to do to win. But if you're winning, you got what you need, man, good stuff. Alright, so I'm going to find someone to host, if there's any cool people on. Let me see. Do to do to do. Alright, have a good one. Yo, later, man. Alright. Yeah, maybe I should just host someone that's playing Street Fighter V. Who do we got? Yeah, I don't I don't know any of these people. Let me just look at my follow list. Because it's like, if I host some random person on Street Fighter V, like, that could go anywhere. Is there anyone playing fighting games? Okay, we got some Smash. Which I plan on playing soon myself anyways. Um... Well, nobody I know personally is playing Smash. I'm just gonna host this tournament. I'm gonna host this Smash Brothers tournament, because... I need to go to bed, and <laughs> I'm not going to look at my follow list all night. But yo, much appreciated to everybody that came by. If you want to see more Street Fighter, come by tomorrow. If you're ready for Smash, yo, that's coming out Friday. <laughs> see you then, man. Peace. No fighting crab game, though.